flow of information to the libertarian, anarcho-capitalist, voluntarist, and agorist community. Subscribe today using any podcatcher at thelavaflow.com slash listen, or just go back to sucking up to the government. The Lava Flow Podcast, striking the root every episode. Reuters reports Kentucky's new governor on Tuesday ordered county clerks' names removed from state marriage license forms at the center of a controversy involving Rowan County Clerk Kim Davis, who was jailed earlier in the year after refusing to issue state marriage licenses. Governor Matt Bevin had said shortly after his election in November, as only the second Republican governor of Kentucky since 1971, that he would change the forms that had drawn objection from Davis and some other clerks. It was unclear what effect Bevin's executive order would have on the case of Davis, who made Kentucky a focal point in the debate over same-sex marriage in the United States when she refused to issue any marriage licenses, even after the U.S. Supreme Court in June made same-sex marriage legal across the United States. Davis took steps to remove her name and office from the forms after she was released and a deputy clerk had issued licenses since she was jailed in early September. Former Governor Bashir has said he had no authority to relieve county clerks of their statutory duties by executive order and that the state legislature could address the issue. Governor Bevin also rescinded Bashir's recent order restoring voting rights to most felons in the state. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. This is the Onion Week in Review. Poets across the nation issued a statement Thursday announcing that shadows, inky sharp as the raven's beak, meet the clouds like dusty charcoal on an ashen brow. Citing the ageless gloom of morning and a weary sun, its astral luminescence wrapped in arid gauze, the report noted that doubt lingers in the frail minutes of a young dawn. For what is the sound of hope? For what is life's moment of fulfillment? The supple lie of spring prolongs the inquisition. Father, father, do you not sense the dread of autumn's looming song danced in trembling half step? One, two, one, two. The poets later added, womb, womb, womb. And in local news, a sad sack is bullied by an area goose. In other news, a photographer specializes in those pictures where lights going by really fast look like lines. An entree is apparently the kind you squeeze lime over, and employees finally get that break room bathtub they wanted. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live. Free Talk Live, Christmas Eve Eve edition of the show. And uh, as usual, we're here. Hopefully we'll be here throughout uh, the holidays. I'm verifying with our board operator that we do actually have somebody scheduled to come in uh, tomorrow and the following day because we do like to do live programs. Uh, So we'll be here for you, and you can join us here. Uh, The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. The Skype username is lrn.fm. Lots of news to discuss. Of course, you can bring up whatever happens to be on your mind with you in the studio tonight. It's Ian. And Daryl. Uh, some of the bigger news that I think I've seen today, at least multiple times on social media, is this news about the TSA changing the rules for who can go through the body scanner, or rather, who can, who can opt, opt out, out of uh, the body scanner. CNN kind of got their headline a little bit uh, wrong there, but CNN.com reporting... The TSA can now mandate that some passengers go through a body scanner even if the traveler asks to opt out and get a full body pat down instead. Now, this is what I have been doing ever since the TSA installed these body scanner devices. For those that don't know, maybe you haven't traveled in a while. I know there are a number of people in the United States who just simply refuse to travel ever since the TSA and things have sort of been getting worse and worse uh, as far as the screening procedures at these airports in the United States. So if you haven't been to see this body scanner thing, it's this behemoth of a device. It's very, very large. It's large enough to fit a, at least, you know, a few people in it once if you wanted to. That's not how it's used, but it's it's a pretty big thing. And you go up into this thing and you put your hands up in the air, both hands up in the air as though you're surrendering, that kind of uh, positioning. They then activate this device. It presumably scans your body for foreign materials that might be in your pockets and things like that uh, or pressed to your body or whatever. You've got a gun strapped to your chest or something. It's going to ostensibly detect those things. And uh, and most people go through this. I mean, 
person after person after person, if you stand there and you you watch, almost no one opts out. Um, I have been opting out. Uh, Daryl, have you taken any flights in recent times? I've taken a couple of flights in the last like two years, and the I, I forget which airport I was going through. Uh, the one time where they had this thing and I said, I'm not going through your radiation thing. And they're like, it doesn't use radiation anymore. Like new machines don't use radiation. Well, it uses something. There's some kind of device or whatever it is. I'm not, I don't know the science side of it, but I know obviously some people are concerned about it. I just don't like the idea. I don't know. I don't care about the science aspect of it. I just don't like the idea of going through this sort of surrender of uh, my body to these people. I mean, I guess you could argue that the pat down is also a surrender in in the same way, but like to literally put your hands the up. Pat in the pat down's air. actually more invasive. Yeah, but it's also more personal. It's nice to have a little bit of a free massage from the the. TSA. I don't want to deal with the people <laughs> at all. I don't want them touching me. So you'd the rather only, go through the, the machine. only people that I want touching me are friends that I'm giving hugs yeah. to. Or attractive women uh, that are throwing themselves on me. Yeah, I've never had an attractive female. And that never female. happens. I've never had an attractive female TSA agent do that to me. They usually give you a guy if you're male, of male going through. Yeah. And uh, so I so we're, we differ on this one then. So you you prefer to go through the machine? Or I prefer, prefer to not deal with them at all. Sure, and, but if you have to go through, right? You're going to go and through the machine. And if you say. You know, touch me all over, then you're spending a lot more time. I would rather sit down and read a book. Or... Yeah, it's true. It does take more time because, one, they usually punish you a little bit by making you wait. Because, yes. like, when you say you want to opt out, then the person who's sort of at the machine will say, okay, we'll stand or sit over there, and then we'll bring somebody around to And then they go through you. your bag. Well, they're going to go through your bag anyway. Uh, no, sometimes. they're going to put your bag through the x-ray machine, hmm. and if it goes off of there's something that we think might be suspicious then they go through the bag that's true but if you opt out they're going through your bag and then you've got to repack everything and that's a pain in the butt yeah that's true they do make it a pain in the butt to uh to opt out but i do it anyway just because of the i think the principle of the matter you're not gaining uh, freedom by opting out no it's not about gaining freedom it's about i think bringing some level of attention to the whole process you know it's very rare that someone opts out from that process and maybe if the people who are in the area can see that happening i don't know maybe they'll think twice about they're it. like oh wow i'm glad i didn't do whatever that guy did he's <laughs> yeah, getting molested right. by the tsa agent maybe you're right daryl maybe it's all futile it's pointless i don't know i feel like i'm doing something toll free numbers 855 450 free but now i may but not that, be able that's to do what it. matters right as long as you feel like you're doing something yeah that's right that's okay. all that matters um, now that I may not be able to do that at all, mandated screening for some passengers would be, quote, warranted by security considerations in order to safeguard transportation security, the TSA said in a document updating the protocol. The change comes at a time of heightened concern about aviation security and terror plots against commercial aviation. Uh, why? Is, have there been extra uh, terrorist hijackings of planes recently? I, no. I haven't heard about anything. The TSA said the benefit of using the technology is that it, quote, improves threat detection capabilities for both metallic and non-metallic threat objects. In other words, the scanners can catch weapons hidden in clothes that a pat-down might miss. The agency says it does not store any personally identifiable information from the body scanner known as Advanced Imaging Technologies, or AIT. Well, that's what they say, but wasn't there a story not too long ago about the TSA agents, like, saving pictures of naked ladies? Yes. Yeah, so maybe it's official policy that they don't save the pictures, but apparently it doesn't prevent the uh, employees from saving the pictures if they decide they want to. Right, but they might also have different machines that they're using now than the machines people were saving the naked pictures off of. Yeah, I don't know. I don't recall because when they, that story was. Because there have been was. several different variations of mm -hmm. these body scan machines that they've gone through over the last five years. Have there been that many? I mean, I remember yes. it changing from one to another, but that's about it. So there, there was like the big change of, oh, we're getting rid of this one. But there have been minor changes along the way as well of from one manufacturer to another. And that must be really good for those manufacturers having to constantly replace yes. and upgrade uh, that equipment. So right now, basically what it's going to be is the TSA will arbitrarily decide. I, I did look at the actual document that CNN is citing here, the TSA policy manual update, and it's a relatively short section of, uh, of several pages worth, so it's very, very short. It's maybe like one or two paragraphs. 
and it just basically says that, well, passengers can still opt out, but if we decide they can't opt out, then they can't opt out. So it'll be completely up to the So whims as of- with everything the TSA does, it's completely arbitrary. Yes. And, and in the let, moment. Let, let, well, no, it's been completely arbitrary for ever since there's been a TSA. And I know this because I used to work for an airline. Mm-hmm. And at one point, I had to go through what they call the ground security coordinator training. And one of the questions that I asked the instructor was, hey, why are they doing this one thing? Like, you're, you're telling me it's supposed to be X, but they're doing it Y in this place and they're doing it z over here and then they might do it x in somewhere so if the policy is x why is everybody changing it well if you know how the security thing is going to work the terrorists do too so they (laughs) have to change change it it up up. it has to be arbitrary ian Hmm. and it's been arbitrary forever as long as there's been a tsa it's been arbitrary the way they enforce it so, uh, is this actually going to increase security in any way, shape, or form? No, I say no. And uh, if you're welcome to, you're welcome to share your TSA experiences here with us. What's the worst experience you've ever had uh, with the TSA? You can dial us toll free eight fifty five four fifty free. There's no shortage of uh, these stories out there. Eight five five four five zero three seven three three. From the you know people being harassed in wheelchairs, being forced to you know crippled people being forced to get out of wheelchairs while they're being uh, padded down to the what was the one where they like uh, did, the the guy had his colostomy bag ripped oh off. Oh God! There was somebody else had a catheter that got like disconnected, and their urine went everywhere. Didn't they p- tear some earrings out of some girl's ears at one point? Probably. Toll free number tonight. If you want to share your thoughts here, eight fifty five four fifty free. That's eight five five four five zero three seven three three. In other news, there's a Disney bound. Muslim family who wanted to, was it come into the United States or leave? Come into. Come into the United States, and they were prohibited from doing so. Daryl, you have that story. Uh, Our toll-free number here, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And you can join us. You can also bring up anything that's on your mind. We've got Skype. Skype username is lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. The new fourth edition of Healing Our World, The Compassion of Libertarianism, will take your understanding of liberty to a deeper level and has over 1,300 updated references, new cartoons, and a forward by Dr. Ron Paul. With discounts for multiple book purchases, the new Healing Our World is a great gift this Christmas for the liberals, pragmatists, environmentalists, and Christians in your life who think libertarianism is cold-hearted. Get yours today at healing.freetalklive.com and use promo code FTL for a $5 discount. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. What would your life be like if you woke up each morning with new vitality, feeling better than you have in years, and you noticed a difference in your sleeping patterns, blood sugar levels, and had a sense of well-being overall? There's something that is changing thousands of people's lives, and you could be one of them. It's called Heart and Body Extract. Sharon Harris, co-creator of Heart and Body Extract, talks about the positive effects of Heart and Body Extract. What happens with the formula Heart and Body Extract is it's giving the body the necessary vitamins, minerals, amino acids, enzymes, and phytonutrients so so the body will heal itself. And yes, the body does have the ability to balance blood pressure, balance cholesterol, clean and unclog the arteries. It can also work on uh, balancing the circulation for diabetics. So the body is an amazing thing. It simply needs some help so it has the tools to heal itself. Heart and body extract gets results. To order your two-month supply, call now, toll-free at 866-295-5305. Order online at hbextract.com. Every once in a while, you get information that's worth changing your life for. This is one such time. You can save up to and beyond 25% on all purchases at Amazon. You probably heard of Bitcoin and just not thought much about it. You certainly know that you can get competitive pricing at Amazon, 
But now you can get a 25% discount on nearly everything you need to live. I've just given you a huge raise, and all you have to do is claim it. You go to saveitpurse.com and open an account. Do this right now. Don't wait. Then you fund the account with Bitcoin. I know this sounds unbelievable, but at my house, we saved as much as 45% off of a new item on Amazon. This information is worth you changing the way you do things. Go to saveitpurse.com right now, get signed up, and cash in on the huge raise I'm offering you. 15 to 25% off of everything at Amazon through saveitpurse.com. It's saveatpurse.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, join us. The toll free number, 855 450 free. 855 450 3733. And I have confirmed we do have a board op lined up for. Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Yay! So thanks in advance to Kyle over at the Genesis Communications Network for keeping us live throughout the holidays. And uh, because you deserve something live, even though everybody else wants to take the day off, uh, Free Talk Live will be here for you. Now, you can join us online, of course, at freetalklive.com. And if you're running a small business and you want to keep in touch with your customers, or maybe your employees as well, text messaging, of course, is the big thing for young people, especially these days. You want to be able to reach those folks. Email's just not going to cut it. But uh, some of these text messaging systems out there can be cumbersome to use, requiring lots of manual entry to add and remove subscribers. But with TextFire, that's T-X-T-F-Y-R-E, your customers can subscribe or unsubscribe to your text messages by simply texting a keyword of your choosing to your number. And when I say number, I mean a real local number with your area code on it instead of one of those short codes that you see so commonly with text messaging systems. You can have unlimited subscriber lists and use different lists for different types of customers, even staff. It's easy to communicate with different groups using TextFire. In fact, customers can even send a text back to you, which allows you to get your orders via text if you like. TextFire is great for groups of 100 to 2,000, making it super for small business owners, churches, and other local civic groups. So head on over to TextFire.com, T-X-T-F-Y-R-E.com, and Free Talk Live listeners like you get your first month free. All you have to do to do that is text FTL, that's our, that's our name, FTL, like Free Talk Live, to 877-792-7418. That's 877-792-7418. 7418 or call that toll-free number 877-792-7418 and mention that you heard about TextFire on Free Talk Live and they will get you hooked up with your first month for free. TextFire.com, T-X-T-F-Y-R-E.com to the phones and to your thoughts then the Muslims who were denied access to the United States. Daryl's got that story but first Tom is in Nashua, New Hampshire. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello Tom. Looking back on it, when I was over in uh, Pelham Monday afternoon talking to Chris Christie, one dude in the audience may have been a Secret Service agent. It's just that they don't wear uniforms. But, you know, he's got that little thing on his ear and the lapel pin that might have meant that he was a Secret Service agent. Could have just been security. Could have been private security. Some of the agents, uh, I've seen a couple of the presidential candidates here who definitely have Secret Service, and some of them are uniformed, and their name patches or whatever do actually say Secret Service. Now, obviously, they are going to have some undercovers as well, most likely. But, uh, yeah, Yeah. they're pretty obvious. I I want to point out that uh, 
if I see like like when in November Lindsey Graham was in Hudson, New Hampshire, and I uh, stuck it to him about that woman who from Connecticut who was murdered by Secret Service and U.S. Capitol Police on October third, two thousand thirteen. She made that wrong turn near the White House, and they chased her down. Pennsylvania oh yeah, it was Avenue. horrifying. And, and shot up her car. Well, well, if we New Hampshire residents who have the opportunity to meet these candidates bring up that and like, what are you going to do to make sure that federal cops get the death penalty when they murder people in cold blood? If there's a Secret Service agent in the audience, it's pretty sure that within a week, the director of the Secret Service will find out, hey, you know, people are talking about that to presidential candidates. And chances are, one of the people, if we keep sticking it to the candidates like that, one of us will stick it to the future president of the United States about that. And so maybe the the Secret Service will uh, kind of get the hint that it's not a very good idea to go murdering innocent people. Nah, I don't think they'll get that hint. No? I don't think it's going to have an effect. But, yeah, it, you know, it never hurts to ask, and especially if you got it yeah. on video and their response. Thanks, Tom, for the call. Toll-free number 855-450-FREE. I'm sorry. I just don't think that, number one, I don't think that you asking a question at some presidential town hall is going to get back to the head of the Secret Service. Right. I, I don't think that part is going to happen at all, but even if it did— I don't think they would care about it. And at this point, I'm only seeing that Donald Trump and Ben Carson, Carson. as far as Republican candidates, have Secret Service protection. Now, how do you determine that? And that is there some sort of website that allows you? I know? did a Google search for presidential candidates with Secret Service, mm-hmm. and the most recent news story is from November, saying. Donald Trump and Ben Carson to get Secret Service protection and Secret Service code names. Do you know anything about the Democratic candidates that might have it? I presume Hillary Clinton has Right now, it. according to the article from November, Hillary is the only Democrat with Secret Service protection. Yep, because Bernie and didn't have it. it's pretty much completely arbitrary how they decide. Because I know Bernie didn't have it uh, as of a couple few weeks ago, two or right. three weeks ago, when he was appearing in Keene. Uh, yet again. So, you know, it would be nice if the federal government would do what Tom is talking about, like actually pay attention to what people say and have some legitimate concern for what people are saying. But I mean, come on, anybody who's ever sent a message to their congressperson or to the White House or to whatever other federal, you know, alphabet agency, you should know by now that it's just a futile thing to do. Like you waste, you're wasting your time Whatever it is, even going to the websites where they fill out the letters for you, like, God is blessed downsized DC. I love Jim Babka and what he's done with that. And I think, in theory, it's a good idea. I just feel like I'm wasting my time, even using the online forms where you just type in your name and address information, and then it gives you a pre-filled out kind of uh, letter. I don't even have to type in my name and address info anymore because I've got my login account saved with downsized DC. Right. So now it just auto fills it in or last pass. Clicks the whatever. thing, and then all, all I have to do is if I want to say anything, then I post it in there. But I generally use the form letter that he sends in the emails. So I'm sending them a form letter. They're sending me a form letter in response. It's ridiculous. And, and, and I'm not reading what they send, and chances are they're, they're not, not reading, reading what I sent. So what's the point of it? I just don't. I mean, why bother? It goes back to the same thing. Ian, why bother getting molested by the TSA agent? Because it feels like it you're doing feels something. like you're doing something. <laughs> Fair enough. I still do it every now and then too, like just because. Okay, oh, they're gonna they're gonna regulate the internet. Okay, they want me to fill this out. All right, here you go. Submit. All right, yeah. there you go. Done. It feels like you're doing something. You are doing something, but whether or not it's having an effect is right. there's no way to know. Uh, although you can certainly look at like the uh, you remember the bailouts back in the Bush times. Oh yeah, when, where they said ninety percent of the yeah, calls 90%. into Congress were no, the other ten percent were hell no. Right, and they passed it and anyway. They did it anyway. So or the Bearcat, even here on a local level in Keene. I mean, look, I'm the first person to say that the political process in New Hampshire, at the very least, functions. It doesn't function well because it's politics, but at the very least, you can talk to these people. State representatives in other states, they don't care who you are unless it's the election time. Then they'll look at you, shake your hand, and kiss your baby and act like they care for a moment until they get elected. Then you'll never hear from them again until it's the next election season. If you're lucky, you'll talk to one of their staff members when you call their office. Here in New Hampshire, they make 100 bucks a year, and they have no staff members, at least the uh, state reps don't. 
the senators, I believe, have like a secretary for several senators. The committees attached. have secretaries. Oh, okay. And so, are the secretaries independent of the committee members, or are they one of the committee members? They're uh, paid. They're, there's they're a government staff. agent. Okay. And they, they do this for the House as well, where there's a government worker mm -hmm. that is tasked with being the secretary for the committee. Right. But that's still like 15, 20, 25 people. The committees are, are fairly large. I think large. there's 36 committees total. Toll-free number tonight is 855-450-FREE. So you can actually reach the po uh, politicos here in New Hampshire, and sometimes you can even change their mind, but not on everything. And the Bearcat's a perfect example of that. It's Free Talk Live. As the cold and flu season approaches, Silver Lungs is ready to help you and your family through the toughest of the year by supporting your immune system and overall health. From our best-selling colloidal silver generating system to our entire line of silver-based skin gels, nasal sprays, soaps, and silver solutions. Silver solutions remain one of nature's most powerful and least expensive antibacterial agents. Now you can produce your own for pennies a day in the comfort of your home using the breakthrough technology of the Silver Lungs Generator. Learn more today at www.silverlungs.com. Are you looking to sell body armor? Want to make extra money selling body armor at your local gun shows? With low minimum buys and great returns, Katie Armor is the answer. Make money in your spare time. It's American-made body armor with the quickest turnaround in the industry, which means you get your product when you need it at very competitive rates. And they'll ship it to you for free. If you own a business, give them a call today at 855-488-KATIE. That's 855-488-2284. Or go to katiearmor.com. Come and take it. Money, power, and respect are all yours at CreditSuccessSecretsRevealed.com. Be seen as an industry leader. You can do it. The last application you filled out when it was time to hit submit did your nerves spike. You didn't get the approval you seek, but there's a better way. We teach you exactly what to place into the right systems the right way the first time so you get approved. Get up to $100,000 in instant business credit. Many people will get cash on the spot. Use those two tools in your new corporate credit engine so you can walk into the bank and get your project funded today. It's all about today at CreditSuccessSecretsRevealed.com. Credit Success Secrets Revealed is explosive and ignites instant results. Dial 1-800-707-8719. That's 1-800-707-8719. 1-800-707-8719. Or just go to CreditSuccessSecretsRevealed.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate. Oof, I think we've all had enough of that jingle, don't you? If you're going to invest in property in New Hampshire, it just makes sense to support a liberty-friendly realtor. Call Mark Warden of Team Porcupine Real Estate for investment property or rentals in the free state. Or visit his website. Come on, you know it. PorcupineRealEstate.com LRN.FM is proud to announce our official listening apps for Android and iOS devices. Now you can easily tune into our streams anywhere, anytime on your smartphone or tablet. Just visit apps.lrn.fm or search for LRN.FM in the Android or Apple app stores. Please download, rate it five stars, then share the link on social media, and let your friends and family know how you're listening to LRN.FM. Download it now, free at apps.lrn.fm. That's apps.lrn.fm. Understanding your credit score is the first step towards managing and improving it. This is Charlie Sundstrom with your Van Dyke Mortgage Minute. The most influential component of your credit score is your payment history. Almost equally as important is the amount you owe on credit accounts. Also impacting your score, but to a lesser degree, are the length of time you've utilized your credit, the number of new accounts, credit inquiries, and your various types of credit accounts. To help achieve or maintain a healthy credit score, have a system set up to assure your bills are always paid on time. Don't max out your cards. It's better to have a high credit limit with a low balance. Never close old accounts. The age of these can actually help your credit score. But don't be afraid to use your credit. You need several accounts in order to have a credit score. Just keep the corresponding payments within your means. For your mortgage pre-approval and refi needs, start by visiting VanDykeMortgage.com. Corporate NMLS 3035. Van Dyke Mortgage is an equal housing lender. Charlie Sundstrom, NMLS 134251. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. Yeah. 
It's Free Talk Live. You can join us. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. 855-450-3733. With you in the studio tonight, it's Ian. And Daryl. We are discussing uh, the the airports of the United States, the TSA. Now we'll arbitrarily decide whether or not you can opt out. You can still try to opt out of the security, uh, what is it, the gate scanner thing that they have. Backscatter. I don't know what they call it these days. They're not using the backscatter that anymore. Was, was that the first one? That, that the was the one that... Uh, uh, did the radiation and was just really a horrible, horrible machine. They're not using that one anymore. So you can you can certainly discuss uh, the TSA situation, your most ridiculous experience with them. If you want to tell that story, you're welcome to do that. Also, uh, contacting representatives, uh, contacting government agents, and you know, sharing your thoughts with them. Is there really any point at the federal level? I say no. No, there's not. Uh, it's pretty much a futile thing. These people in the federal government are there with an agenda, and that agenda does not include caring about what you think. Now, if you're, uh, let's say, the CEO of a mega corporation that is a donor to said politician, the federal government, they'll probably take your call personally. But for all the rest of us little folks, no, nope. no, nah, they're really just not interested in what you have to say. State governments, I would say in a lot of states, probably also not really worth uh, doing anything there because many of them are insulated, not as insulated as the federal, uh, their federal counterparts, but they're still pretty insulated. They still have staffs in most of the states. New Hampshire is a little bit different because they really don't have staff. In New Hampshire, the state representatives have a locker. That's and what it's they not get. a big locker either. No, it's just like, you know, your school kind of locker, I guess. No. Is this smaller than that? Smaller than that. Well, one of the state reps posted a picture on their Facebook page and like said, a comparison? This is for all of the people asking me about my office and staff as a <laughs> state rep. And it's like, it, it's a large drawer, basically. Like, it, it's mm. horizontal, not vertical. It's horizontal. I didn't even so know it, that. I thought they were vertical. The the one that she showed, weird. It was like a large drawer on like a dresser sort of thing. Huh. I and guess it that had a lock on sense. it. I mean, if you're gonna put papers in something, it yeah. makes sense to lay them down horizontally like that. So uh, you know, at least here in New Hampshire, the state representatives have no there are, there are no gatekeepers, if you will. There's nobody who stands in the way of you and them. If you want to go and go to their house. You can do that. There's nothing that uh, pr- would prevent you from doing that. If you want to call them at their home, many of them have their home numbers listed on or their the state cell phone. website. Or their cell phone numbers. And sometimes even the state senators. Now, a few years ago, I was able to call the local senator in the area with on her cell phone that I got from the state website. She has since removed that number from the state site, so that no no longer is the case with her. But you know, but she still has a telephone number on the state website. Yeah, which um, it may be her home number. I don't know. I haven't called it in a little while. But there's uh, the state representatives. That whenever you sometimes there's like certain organizations that will encourage people to call the state reps. And so I've called a number of them on some occasions. Sometimes you get their kid answering the phone, like, "Yeah, can you put your mom on the line?" <laughs> and you know you don't you're not used to that if you're new to New Hampshire. Right. So things are definitely different here. You can actually encounter these people at the state house. They're more than most of them are more than willing to actually talk to you like if you're in the hallway and you've got something to say. I mean sometimes they're running from one place to another and they don't have time for right. it. But uh but at the very least they have to pay attention to you and I'm sure some of them are pretending like they care cuz that's just how things are. That's how people are. But it's just a more accessible system, and you really can have an influence. And, in fact, here in New Hampshire, we actually have free state project participants who are elected state representatives. These people you'll see outside of politics. You'll just see them at Liberty events and you know gatherings like the Liberty Forum that's coming up here in, uh, in about two months. Yeah. Now, I don't know how many state reps will be at Liberty Forum, but I bet you it'll be close to a dozen, if not more than that, because we actually have – uh, 20 or so Free State Project representatives, people who have moved here as part of the Free State Project, which is a political migration of libertarians coming to New Hampshire, 
and getting active. And then there are a couple that are friends of the Free State Project that are right. not Free State Project participants. And there are also several dozen who qualify as A or B ranked Liberty reps. There's the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance that each year takes all the state reps' votes on certain issues, and then they calculate a score from A to F, and then actually below F there's constitutional threat, and there's also like a dereliction of duty for those who don't show up very often. And so, you know, there's literally dozens of people within the state representatives here that could be showing up at the Liberty Forum, which means that you can sit down, have dinner with them. You can talk to them about whatever issues you find. Or if you're hardcore like Daryl, you can present some actual proposed legislation to them and say, hey, will you sponsor this? Because if you think about it here in New Hampshire, these state representatives, they're all doing something else, likely, unless they're unless they're retired. Uh, they likely have something that pays the bills because 100 bucks a year plus a small gas stipend is all they get paid to be a state representative, and that's not going to pay for anything. Right. It'll barely even cover the gasoline that it takes to get to the state house. So these guys are super busy because, I I mean, Daryl, you and I, we go up to the state house on a yearly basis for the last couple of years. Uh, every wintertime is when they really do the the heavy load of uh, hearings. I, I like would that. say on average once a week from mid-January through mid to late March. And we go up once a week, but you know sometimes we'll spend sometimes the whole day there. Sometimes we're twice a week. Sometimes. Sometimes we'll spend the whole day. Sometimes it's just the morning. Right. You know, we'll only go to the hearings that are interesting to us. But those poor state reps, they're there three days, four days a week, and sometimes all day and sometimes late beyond 5 o'clock. So, I mean, they literally pour probably solidly more than 20, if not 30 or so, maybe more than that, hours per week into this job that really doesn't even pay them. So it's understandable when, you know, they're harried or they're busy or they feel like they are too loaded with work. First of all, if you're in any other state, you can't propose potential legislation to some state representative. They don't care what you think. You're just some voter, unless you've got hundreds of thousands of dollars. Or you're part of some organization that's got some money and influence. Right. But here, if you take the time to actually write a piece of proposed legislation, and you've done this, Daryl. I've done this on numerous issues, and... There are some things that I've had more success in getting introduced, and this year I actually have two proposals introduced in various forms, meaning that more than one state representative introduced my proposal. So one of them deals with what they call warrant articles, which is the limited initiative referendum sort of thing that we have here in New Hampshire. On the town level. At the town level. Yeah. So you can... Go collect 25 petitions. Or school board, as the case might be. Uh, School board for Keene, uh, where they have this deliberative session, official ballot thing, that's something that a lot of towns have. You can collect 25 signatures and get what they call a warrant article placed on the ballot. And, well, right now, those things can be amended, and there's conflicting— Before they go on the ballot. Before they go on the ballot. And there's conflicting court rulings out of Superior Court on— the manner in which they can be amended. State statute currently says they cannot be amended to remove the subject matter. And one court ruled that by adding the word not before the verb, you're creating a nullity, thus eliminating the subject matter because Mm -hmm. a yes vote and a no vote mean the same thing. But here in Cheshire County, uh, we had some lawyer get a little tricky, and instead of adding the word not before the verb, just completely changed the verb. Mm. So from repeal the authority to ratify the authority. Still creates a nullity. Yes vote, no vote, still have no effect. But the local court here in Cheshire County ruled that that's okay. So there's conflicting superior court rulings. So I've got a couple of state reps that introduce legislation. Right. Rather than spending, let's say, $9,000 appealing that court decision, because yes. it was your court case, you filed it. Yes. Uh, rather than spending t- thousands of dollars on an appeal, you could just spend, oh, I don't know, an hour writing up some potential legislation and then spend another hour contacting re- state couple representatives. Hours contacting reps. And, and pitch it to them. Say, hey, will you will you sponsor this? And you said someone did sponsor it this, uh, this coming There's session? either two or three variants of that, plus there's one hmm. dealing with electioneering by government agents. Toll-free number tonight, 855-450-FREE. So if you want to have an effect on the political system, 
You should come to New Hampshire if you're a libertarian. Go to freestateproject.org. This is Free Talk Live. Join us. Every once in a while, you get information that's worth changing your life for. This is one such time. You can save up to and beyond 25% on all purchases at Amazon. You probably heard of Bitcoin and just not thought much about it. You certainly know that you can get competitive pricing at Amazon, but now you can get a 25% discount on nearly everything you need to live. I've just given you a huge raise, and all you have to do is claim it. You go to saveitpurse.com and open an account. Do this right now. Don't wait. Then you fund the account with Bitcoin. You can buy them through expresscoin.com with a check or money order. There are other ways to get Bitcoin, but that's fast, safe, and easy. This information is worth you changing the way you do things. Go to saveitpurse.com right now, get signed up, and cash in on the huge raise I'm offering you. 15 to 25% off of everything at Amazon through saveitpurse.com. It's saveatpurse.com. Hi, this is Dr. Joel Wallach, the Mineral Doctor. You've heard me talk about 90 for Life for years. 60 minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 amino acids, 2 fatty acids. You may not know this, that I've actually designed Arthur decks for animals. That's right. Your pets need 90 for Life, too. Get this essential pet product by calling 877-279-9422. That's 877-279-9422. Again, 877-279-9422. You haven't experienced yogurt until you've tried a Mossy, embodying health and flavor in a true whole milk, green-fed dairy beverage. Every sip pays homage to our old world cows and the ancient culturing methods their milk benefits from. With over 30 probiotics, a Mossy's undeniably nutritious, refined, cultured sensation bolsters your health and awakens your passion for dairy. A Mossy's so good, and you need to try it. Contact your Longevity distributor or call 877-878-4203 or go to GCNteam.com. For years, Southwest Airlines has boasted having the most loyal customers in the industry. Now the low-cost carrier is calling on its most frequent customers to finally do something in return for the airline. The company rolled out their new Loyalty Goes Both Ways program in a new ad campaign. You said you wanted free check bags and we listened. Now you listen to us. Southwest's program is part of a new trend of companies not letting their customers exploit them anymore. CEO Gary C. Kelly has gone as far as to record this radio ad, which Southwest started airing nationwide. Hi, this is Southwest CEO Gary Kelly. If my wife calls asking about me, I need you to lie and say I was with you. Remember all those low fares I gave you. To any Southwest customers thinking about saying they're too busy to help, Kelly has some harsh words saying, quote, we're always there for our customers. To anyone who can't do us a solid now and then, f*** you, that's not loyalty, that's freeloading. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it. Use it. Spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at Bitcoin.com. That's Bitcoin.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Yeah! It is Free Talk Live. You can join us here toll-free. The number, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Joining you tonight, it's Ian. And Daryl. Daryl, you can join him on the internet. He's got a few radio things that he does. A daily newscast, five-minute long newscast. Easy to download that uh, via your favorite podcast client and uh, have it for you when you drive to work or whatever. 
Uh, and then there's also the uh, the weekly kind of opinion piece that you do. What's that one called? The FPP Freedom Minute is sort of a commentary slash newscast, also mm-hmm. five minutes long. That's once a week. And then you've got a three times weekly, half hour long uh, yes. podcast called Peace, Love, Liberty Radio. Yes. Also available via podcast. Yes. Right? At FPPRadio.com. That's where you can go to get more of Daryl in audio form. That's FPPRadio.com. Let's go to your calls and thoughts. Doug in Illinois, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, Doug. Yeah, hi. I pretty much want to call and talk about it. I've called in before um, how difficult it can be to get a hold of your elected people. Um, you mean in recall, Illinois? I called in Illinois, yeah. and it's the federal government, and even at the local level. Mm. Um, you'll recall that uh, in Wheeling, Illinois, not even a year ago, um, there had been a cop car that had been going after a guy doing 45 and a 35. He got up to doing over 100. He did not have the light bar active. He had nothing to indicate that he had been going after a guy when he hit and killed the guy walking in the road. Oh, no. I contacted, yeah, and you hear it happen all over the country quite a bit. Now, I contacted Robert Rita, my rep, my Illinois rep, all the way back in June. I have written him letter after letter, phone call after phone call. Never gotten a reply back. Now, when you call this guy, what is it like? Is there some aide who answers the phone, some kid or whatever? Right, they have an aide, and I'm like, I want to get a phone call back from him, or I'm like, tell me when he will be out here in Blue Island, a neighboring town, and I will meet with him. Or I will call him, tell me a good time to call him. I never get Uh a reply back. Well, we can't do that. You know, I called down to the Capitol. No, we can't do that. You know, we got a whole, a 13-page report that I downloaded on each new law taking effect in Illinois. 13-page report in fine print. You can actually go on WGN TV and download it. Not a one of them pertaining to holding government accountable and protecting the people. You know, I, I want to talk to him about that. I want to talk to him about the issue of, you know, I, I called him before with what happened in Georgia where uh, a cop had her canine partner get out. She didn't uh, lock the cage properly, and the dog attacked an 11-year-old kid. And much to my shock, you have it happen around the country all the time, and they have immunity. Not only do they... Do they do nothing to them? They don't, you know, if it were your dog or my dog, the animal would be put down. But a canine uh, uh, unit, they're allowed to do whatever they want to do and pretty much get away with it. So let me, let's play for a moment. uh, Let's pretend that you actually get the politician on the phone or in person and you're able to bring up some of these abusive examples of government. Uh, I'll play the representative. Okay. Hello, I'm Representative uh, Johnny Rotten. Uh, <laughs> how can I help you, sir? Well, I think that we need to hold government a little bit accountable like we're holding the people more accountable. You know, we're well, well, what, what do you mean, hold government accountable? Well, if I had my dog get out and attack a kid, the dog would be put down. If you're a, a, a cop and you have a canine partner and you have the dog get out on your own time and attack a kid, you're allowed immunity. And that, they don't that, that's a highly trained dog, sir. Th- those things are very expensive to train. I don't think that's the right answer, Daryl. The, the most common political response I've ever heard to a really important question is, or like some sort of incident that happened where you want to get their opinion is, well, I don't know anything about that, so I can't comment. They'll just, they plead ignorance. Actually, actually, actually I did have an aide uh, give me a little tidbit one time when I called Robert Rita. She told me, well, we look at it being a local issue, which can be part of the whole problem here in Illinois. Illinois, they allow the local government. It can be important to, to, to know that local government, they are a division of Illinois government, okay? And if Illinois government should make a law, they have to follow the law. But they pretty much let local government here do whatever the hell they want to do. Well, I told her, I go, well, I go, did you make it a law that we have to be buckled up in Illinois? Yeah. Well, why didn't you leave that at the local level? No reply. You know, no, no, no reply. Did you make a law where you can't be on your phone in all of Illinois? Yeah. Well, why didn't you leave that up to the local government? It can be whatever it can fit. You know what I mean? Being, when, you, when you get in a cop car and you're doing 100 in a 35 and you don't have the light bar exit and you hit and kill a guy walking in the road, you're being incredibly negligent. I don't it know if the light bar would have saved his life. life. I mean, that's just well, dangerous you have, driving. You, you have, yeah, that too. I mean, <laughs> I mean, but you have to begin, you know, at a particular area. Well, what do you, you say when the when the politician says, "Well, I don't know anything about that. I can't comment." Well, you're elected in. You should know about it. You well, know? I, I don't. I mean, I mean I, you can I, send me I, some information, but I don't know anything about it. And then if you try to give them information, they'll never actually look at it. And we actually well, I, saw that in a committee oh, where. Yeah. Over a course of several years, 
the pro-cannabis lobbyist was giving information to the representative of the state police union. And this past year, during one of the committees, well, I, I never looked at that. You've been given copies. For a decade or whatever. For several yeah. years. Why haven't you read it? Well, I, I'm busy and blah, 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 yeah. blah. But here's the studies that I know of that say the complete opposite. And they've been disbunked yep. by all this stuff that uh, this other guy gave you. But I don't know anything about that because it doesn't fit my narrative. It literally can be like a totalitarian government here in Illinois. 13 page report on law after law that we have to follow. But not one damn law about holding government accountable and protecting the people. Nothing. Oh, you they know? hate it when you hold them year, accountable. I mean, the city of year, Keene here year has been. Year. That, right. The city of Keene, I mean, New Hampshire's got a relatively small government compared to Illinois, but it still has its issues. And so when we've tried to hold the parking enforcers accountable, the city of Keene rewarded us with a lawsuit that we've been, that's now we've been tied up in court with for three years. Uh, it started in May of 2013, so we're almost to, to three full years here. We've been to court four time, or three times uh, on it. There have been a full four days of court hearings on, on this, and, and they just recently appealed it again to the New Hampshire Supreme Court because they didn't get the ruling that they wanted. The courts keep kicking it back in their face based on freedom of speech and the right to hold government agents accountable. But, they, man, they fight tooth and nail to try to avoid any semblance of accountability whatsoever. Thanks, they, Doug. They, go, go ahead. They have, they, have a, they have a word for what we call it here. They call it tyranny, okay? You have a government where they are very authoritative, and they don't have to follow the law, but you have to follow the law. You know what I mean? Oh, they I totally know what you mean. But when you say that, and I'm with, look, don't get me wrong, I'm completely, completely with you. But when you use a word like tyranny, people who are enjoying a relatively comfortable life, you know, they've got television, they've got uh, video games, they've got whatever sports that they're into, uh, people who are just sort of living day to day, living, working their job, going home, drinking at night, they think that everything's okay. They don't feel like they're living under tyranny. So when so you say people those that things, live in North Korea think that they've got it all right, too. They, they've got that. propaganda that they get to listen. They've got radio that they I, listen to all the time. Some of them are pretty hungry. They, they've got sports and here and other the, stuff. I'm not hungry are, in the United States. You are, right. completely, you are completely correct for the fact that I watched a frontline program on TV and they were talking about how the people, they, you know, the people in North Korea, and actually a lot of them that they interviewed that fled, that fled over, you know, over, that fled the country, were talking about how they're given propaganda that they live in a better country than anywhere in the world. Yeah. You know, That's true. Know My point is, it's a level of degrees. I'm with you there. Doug, thanks for the call tonight. I, I appreciate your frustrations, and uh, those are some of the frustrations that led, I think, me and a lot of other people to join the Free State Project and move to New Hampshire. The idea being that if you concentrate enough people who are concerned about government accountability— who are concerned about being able to, you know, contact these representatives and, and actually work towards having smaller government. Getting those people into a critical mass is so important because the average person out there, a lot of people know there's something wrong with the world, with the, the country or their state or whatever, but they're not really sure what, if anything, they can do about it because they've always been told you can't fight City Hall. Right. And all the evidence is you can't fight City Hall. I mean, had... Uh, John Meyer, the attorney for the Robin Hooders here in Keene, Robin Hooders are people who fill expired parking meters before a parking a ticket attendant can write a ticket out. Uh, they sued us back in 2013, and John Meyer took that case. He's a huge free speech rights attorney. Normally, he doesn't even take cases like this. This isn't even really his uh, his like paid area of law. The normally, like he works in employment law normally when he takes paid cases. And so he took this case pro bono, and I don't know how many hours he spent on it, but it's countless. It's countless hours now over a, a multitude of years. And, you know, had he not taken that case, we'd probably be dead in the water. Yes. So uh, really, God has bless uh, John Meyer for doing that. But having the concentration of people makes things more possible. It means that more liberty lawyers are likely to be here. Uh, we just had a new mover to Keene a few weeks ago, uh, Melanie, who is a... A lawyer. She's trained to be an attorney. She hasn't yet taken the bar exam here in New Hampshire, but she right. did go to law school. So, you know, the more libertarian types we can concentrate in one area, the better off we're all going to be. And then what you'll start to see happen is the average people who normally don't even show up to vote and who really don't pay attention to anything, when they're asked questions about liberty, they'll say, oh, yeah, I've always, I've always been on the side of the libertarians, you know, because the average folks are going to go with whoever seems to be like the majority. Right. You know what I mean? 
you're going to sway those folks. 855-450-FREE. But you got to have a concentration to be able to do that. 855-450-3733. We'll talk about the Muslims in the airport coming up. Are your kids spending too much time online? Are they gaming instead of doing homework? Are they on Facebook instead of sleeping? Turn their internet access on or off when you want for free at webcurfew.com. 100% web-based interface means nothing to download, install, or configure. Web Curfew is free and controls any device using your home network without slowing down your internet. Block all adult web content with the click of a button. Don't let the internet raise your kids. Take back control of how and when your home internet is used for free. Visit webcurfew.com. As a pioneer of the e-commerce movement, Overstock.com is proud to be the first major retailer to accept Bitcoin. Overstock was the first because Patrick Byrne, Overstock CEO and founder, firmly believes in personal freedom and cryptocurrency. Over the past 16 years, Overstock has furnished over 18 million homes with a diverse line of products to suit everyone's unique styles and preferences. Support Overstock and freedom of choice while enjoying free shipping on orders of 0.211 Bitcoin or more. In Survivor Max 2, school bites, Maximus scavenge through a wasteland swarming with the undead. Desperate to find the medicine he needs, he discovers a community of survivors at his former school. Has he finally found the safe haven he's been looking for, or will he discover that school bites? Look for Survivor Max on Facebook, read reviews on Amazon, and read Chapter 1 at SurvivorMax.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Wednesday, December 23rd, 2015. Silver is trading at $14.26 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,073 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $442. Antiwar.com reports UN Human Rights Chief Zid Rad al-Hussein addressed the Security Council on Tuesday and warned that Saudi Arabia seems to be disproportionately responsible for civilian deaths in the ongoing Yemen war, a nine-month conflict that led to enormous civilian casualties. Saudi Arabia began airstrikes against Yemen back in March and has repeatedly faced reports from human rights groups of enormous civilian death tolls in airstrikes against residential areas. During the the UN General Assembly, however, Saudi officials managed to block efforts to investigate the killings, rather getting the UN to empower them to investigate themselves. U.S. Ambassador to the UN, Samantha Power, told reporters that the U.S. has been urging Saudi Arabia to ensure lawful and discriminate targeting, though this has not stopped the U.S. from providing much of the weaponry used in the strikes and to help coordinate the war. The Saudi war has from the start been faulted for its horrendous impact on human rights, which has included included not just airstrikes on populated areas, but also a full naval blockade of Yemen, which has brought food imports to the nation, which historically has had to import 90% of its food, has been brought to a comparative halt. For nearly 40 years, Roberts & Roberts Brokerage has been a trusted source for buying and selling precious metals like gold and silver. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and have permanently removed the minimum purchase amount for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on buying and selling precious metals and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 800-874-9760 or visit online at rrbi.co. 
UPI reports two Venezuelan businessmen who live in the United States were recently arrested on charges of bribing officials of Venezuela's government-owned PDVSA oil company in a scheme worth more than $1 billion. Roberto Rincon Fernandez and Abraham Sierra were arrested Wednesday. Court documents released on Monday indicate the men were charged with wire fraud, conspiring to launder money, and violating the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act, which prohibits American businesses or individuals from bribing government officials in other countries to obtain business. Rincon Fernandez was held with El Bell because there is a serious risk that he will flee and because he has significant assets which could fund a fugitive lifestyle. The court document states that Rincon Fernandez has lived in the Houston area for about 10 years and owns a home worth $5 million, also owning homes in Spain and Aruba. Rincon Fernandez was arrested in Texas and has pled not guilty. Chiara, who lives in Florida and was arrested there, has not yet entered a plea. If you're fed up with the government running every aspect of your life, but you're not listening to the Lava Flow podcast yet, what's wrong with you? Go right now to thelavaflow.com slash listen. The Lava Flow podcast, channeling the flow of information to the libertarian, anarcho-capitalist, voluntarist, and agorist community. Subscribe today using any podcatcher at thelavaflow.com slash listen, or just go back to sucking up to the government. The Lava Flow podcast, striking the root every episode. Reuters reports Kentucky's new governor on Tuesday ordered county clerks' names removed from state marriage license forms at the center of a controversy involving Rowan County Clerk Kim Davis, who was jailed earlier in the year after refusing to issue state marriage licenses. Governor Matt Bevin had said shortly after his election in November, as only the second Republican governor of Kentucky since 1971, that he would change the forms that had drawn objection from Davis and some other clerks. It was unclear what effect Bevin's executive order would have on the case of Davis, who made Kentucky a focal point in the debate over same-sex marriage in the United States when she refused to issue any marriage licenses, even after the U.S. Supreme Court in June made same-sex marriage legal across the United States. Davis took steps to remove her name and office from the forms after she was released and a deputy clerk had issued licenses since she was jailed in early September. Former Governor Bashir has said he had no authority to relieve county clerks of their statutory duties by executive order and that the state legislature could address the issue. Governor Bevin also rescinded Bashir's recent order restoring voting rights to most felons in the state. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. An alarming UN report on magical realism released this week warns of increased incidences of women's tears flooding the entire world. A UN committee linked the catastrophic phenomena to matronly widows, commonly named Tita and Esmeralda, who wept for up to 90 days on end about their estranged lovers. Just consider how detrimental it is to a nation's workforces to have thousands of its plantation overseers simply disappear one night into the midsummer fog, only to return decades later without having aged a single day. Put simply, if such phenomena are not immediately halted, the effects on the international community will be catastrophic. The nation's limo drivers spent a magical prom night playing scratch-off tickets in the parking lot this week. According to sources, chauffeurs nationwide began their enchanting evening by cramming swank magazines into their glove compartments before dropping off their students at a school gym, working through a stunning assortment of lotto cards, and dining upon a wide range of microwave-heated taquitos from a nearby 7-Eleven. This is the Onion News Network. It's Free Talk Live. You're invited to join us. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. 855-450-3733. Still to come here tonight, uh, we didn't get into your story yet, Daryl, about the Muslims who were denied entry to the United States. We'll find out more about that. This was in an airport, apparently. Yes. Uh, We'll find out more about that. Plus, I've got a story which uh, comes out of Africa where a group of Kenyan Muslims actually shielded Christians in a bus attack, which I think strikes at the heart of the propaganda, the anti-Muslim propaganda out there that says that Muslims hate Christians or want to kill or convert or kill all Christians. Uh, It's pretty clear that uh, shielding them from an attack doesn't fall into the category of hatred at all. That would be an extreme act of love. 
in point of fact. So uh, well, hopefully we'll get into that. Of course, you can call in. You can bring up anything you want. Ian and Daryl in the studio. Toll-free number again, 855-450-FREE. We've also been talking about the TSA. They're pretty much getting rid, out of, uh, getting rid of the idea of opting out. Yeah, you can still try to opt out, but if they decide they don't want you to opt out, then sorry, you're going to have to go through the body scanner. And in addition to that, uh, we've been discussing state representatives and trying to actually contact these people. We had a guy from Illinois call in a few moments ago expressing uh, a lot of frustration with trying to simply get an answer, uh, get a call back, or a physical meeting with his supposed state representative. And it's just not happening. And, of course, we're not surprised. Yeah. It's not hard to actually do that here in New Hampshire. There are many state reps who are actually friendly to the ideas of liberty. I, I'm better represented by representatives that don't live anywhere near Keene. That's true in, uh, in New Hampshire. So let's go to Gamma Blast. He's in Chicago. You're on Free Talk Live, also in Illinois. Sorry to hear that. Go ahead, Gamma Blast. Hey, yeah, Illinois is a rough one. Uh, hey, guys. Uh, well, I just wanted to congratulate everybody who's helped participate in this uh, Free State project. They hit 90%, especially uh, you, Ian. I feel like the movement wouldn't have near the traction if you weren't involved in it. Oh, I don't know about and... that, but no, I appreciate it. I mean, Free Talk Live has definitely been a big recruiter for the Free State project. There's, there's no doubt about that, but I... I would like to think that they would have done just fine without us. So thank you. I appreciate that. I also have a question regarding that. I was wondering, I feel a lot of the Free State Project people, that type, may not want to be on a list, per se, yep. and be on a possible government radar. So I wonder, for everybody who signed up, how many do you think are just going to just move out? Well, that's a great question. Like, do you have any kind of feel for that? There's no way to really get a feel for that um, because, well, number one, the Free State Project doesn't just let anybody access its membership list. So if you meet somebody and they tell you they're a Free Stater, well, maybe they are, maybe they aren't. You you really don't ever know for sure. But uh, we know a couple of people that have moved here but not signed the Free State Project definitely statement just because I don't like putting my name on stuff. There are a number of those exactly. people. And, and every now and then you'll meet those folks. So the fact that you do meet those people on an occasional basis, like it's not just one person, it's been a few folks over the years who've, who've been like that, that should give you some sort of indicator. But what you can extrapolate from that out of, you know, twenty nearly 20,000 signatures, what percentage could be above and beyond that that are actually moving, that are never signing up for anything, maybe 1,000, maybe 2,000, maybe 5,000. I don't have any idea what, uh, what those numbers are. And some of them are going to be more uh, reachable than others. Some people move here and they never, ever, like, connect with the community, like the right. community of liberty activists. They may be connecting with their own sort of internal communities of, or, like, communities of interest. So if they go to a church, they might be going to that. There, or... There's a weekly gathering that's been happening in Keene for, what, nearly a decade, the Social yeah, Sundays? So. Yeah. Weekly event happening for a long time. And a couple months ago, somebody showed up, and he was like, oh, yeah, I've lived in the area for like three years. And never came out to anything until then. Never that. came out to anything. Just been getting settled in, I've been had here the for same, three years. Yeah, I've had the same thing happen. Uh, I do outreach every year at the county fair, and so that's when you come across you know, you know, people. thousands of people are passing by, and every now and then I'll encounter some folks who they'll reveal that they're free state project participants. They've made the move. They live in the area but I've never seen them before in my life because yeah. they've never come out to anything. And sometimes it's because it's like a family and they're just too busy with their family thing going on. Or sometimes it's like a single guy who's just been working and trying to establish himself and he just feels like he hasn't had the time. Or maybe in one guy's case, he works on Sundays, so he's just never been able to come out to a Sunday thing. And so, yeah, those people do definitely exist. But there's also another factor that you need to think about here, Gamma Blast, and that is that of the 20,000 yeah. signatures, well, some I of those people amazing. aren't going to go. Uh, so, you know, maybe if we get 10,000 out of the 20,000, that would be a pretty amazing thing. If we get 5,000, I think 5,000 is a pretty safe number. I think we can definitely get that. 10,000 would be nice. I I'm not expecting more than five. Yeah. Um, out of the 20? Really? Yeah. He's only expecting 25% uh, retention, so. Well, because you, you've got to consider that a lot of people have probably forgotten that they've signed. <laughs> There's true. going to be some percentage of people that some have, died. have died. There's going to be some percentage of people who remember that they signed, but their intentions have changed. Yep. Because when yeah. you sign, all you're saying is that I intend to... And intentions can change. Yeah, you're not obligated. So, you know, somebody, maybe it wasn't their intention that changed. Maybe they met somebody uh, who they fell in love with and right. now they want to stay in California or, or whatever. Or they got circumstance. A new 
of I've got this really good job. I yeah. can't transfer because the company is located in this place and it's not something I can telecommute to. So, yeah. So who knows how many people are actually going to show things, up. Right? You got the pledgers and then you got people actually move. They can sign something as well once they get there. Uh, yeah, you can sign sort of after you move, I think. You're uh, not supposed after to. After the fact, but there's nothing to stop you from doing it. So, yeah, I think you can I think you can do that. Um, but either way, even if it's only 5,000 people that show up here, we already have, you know, close to 2,000. And we've had an incredible impact here in New Hampshire with just those few early movers. And keep in mind that those 2,000 early movers, not all of them are the most hardcore of activists, right? right. Like, you know, the 80-20 rule is in effect with the Free State Project, just like it is anywhere. I mean, anyone who has ever been in a group project in school, remember government school where they did group projects? Uh, at least back in my day, they did these things. And uh, usually, like, one of the four members of the group carried all the weight for the other three. And it's kind of that way here in, in New Hampshire and the Libertarian Party or wherever. Whatever organization you're in, it's always that way. And, and the New yeah, Hampshire Act is... So if we end up with, like, 20... Or if we end up with, like, 2,000 hardcore activists here who are, like, really cranking, I think we're going to be an unstoppable force. Yes. And already you've got the uh, people inside the state government... Who are saying things like State Representative Cynthia Chase, who back in 2012, at the very end of 2012, said that free staters were the single greatest threat, are the single greatest threat to the state. I mean, that is a huge compliment. And the irony is she moved here the same time you did. Yeah, that's Ian. true. She moved from what, Rhode Island or something She like moved that? from Rhode Island. Yeah. It's okay to move and bring your big government statism, but don't move and try to you know roll back some of the statism and get more freedom so i don't no, know that's bad i think daryl your your prediction is is a good one like i feel like five thousand we're going to be solid on that because that's a good low number i think we can reach that as far as actual movers if we get a more than five thousand that's like you know a bonus in my opinion right. and you also got to factor in what gamma blast was originally calling about which is the unsigned people who love the idea of the free state project but don't want to be on a list there's that big question mark of how many hundreds or thousands of them might there be and then also there's the other question of once the Free State Project move is done, because there's a five-year window once Free State Project hits 20,000, we're at over 18,000 now, people who've signed and pledged to move here. Once it hits 20,000, there's a five-year window of time that the people have to move. Once that window's over, and even during that window, there are going to be people who are moving and are not joining the Free State Project. Right. So, you know, we may have ten or 20,000 after another 10 years. And you also have the uh, liberty-friendly locals that have been living here longer than there was a Free State Project yeah. that cannot become Free State Project participants. They can become friends, friends. of. And there's already, what, 2,000? And there's already a couple thousand of those. So, yeah, count those in there, and you've got an incredible uh, movement here. Thanks, Gamma Blast, for your call tonight, and I appreciate the kind words. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. And I got a, a good example of these natives, these stuff. Uh, liberty-oriented natives, some of them who don't really even realize how, uh, you know, what they can do, I guess. Right. And I think that a perfect example of this is what has happened out in the seacoast with the free Uber project that Christopher Uber David Grandma. started. Uber Grandma is exactly who I'm talking about. Uh, and I will talk, we'll talk a little bit more about her here in a moment because her story is particularly interesting from the perspective of this is what Free State Project participants can encourage, which is the native population to take a hold of their activism and like do something more than they otherwise would have done. It encourages people to stand up for themselves in a way that they otherwise wouldn't have and that is worth a whole lot. It's Free Talk Live. Free all right, listen up, because this is the most important thing you're going to hear all day. What if I said you could make money flipping houses without any cash, credit, or manual labor? And what if I said you could do it part-time from the comfort of your home? Sound un believable Hi, I'm Preston Ely, and I'm going to prove it by sending you a free copy of my smash hit selling book, How to Get Rich in Real Estate. It sells online for $19.95, but I'm giving away 5,000 free copies this week. To get one before they're gone, call 1-800-961-8439. I used to be so broke, I had my electricity shut off nine times. But I figured out a simple way to make money flipping houses without even breaking a sweat. Now I'm living the good life, and so should you. Listen, if you're sick and tired of stressing about money, this book could change your life. Hands down, it's the fastest, easiest way to get started in real estate. Let me prove it. Call right now to find out how to get your free book. When they're gone, they're gone. Call 1-800-961-8439. 
Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional installation you control what you watch when you watch it record your favorite shows pause and rewind live tv even skip the commercials watch local channels too at just 19.99 what are you waiting for pull out your major credit or debit card call 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV say goodbye to the cable guy cut costs and get more 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 90% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. If you're a regular reader of FreeKeen.com, you know there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at FreeKeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at FreeKeen.com. That's FreeKeen.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Silver and gold, silver and gold, how do you measure its worth? Just by the pleasure it gives here on earth. Roberts and Roberts Brokerage hopes you have a happy holiday season and a prosperous 2016. We're available 24-7 at rrbi.co or call 800-874-9760. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. Talk live. You can bring up what you want. The toll free number is 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. We've also got Skype. So Skype on into the show here. Skype username is lrn.fm. Uber Grandma. Who is she? What's her story? Christopher David was on the Rebel Love Show last night on lrn.fm, had a great interview where he talked a little bit about. Uh, how Uber Grandma, this lady who's been targeted by the police in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, she's now been hit with four tickets for driving. She's been helping people who are drunk get home from the bar, likely preventing people from getting arrested for DUI or possibly putting other people's lives in danger because they got behind the wheel. Or their own. Exactly. She's helping people get from point A to point B. She's doing it via Uber, which is a new ride-sharing system that allows people to hook people who need a ride to hook up with people who are willing to give a ride. That's all Uber does. There's just the facilitator between two human beings uh, who desire services and want to provide them. And she has been ticketed four times. The first ticket was $500. The other three were th- uh, $1,000 a piece. And she continues to drive for Uber. She is a hero She's had a lot of press coverage out there, 
as a result of what she's done. She's become sort of the focal point of the She's free- gotten pressed down in Boston. Yep, that's right. Boston Magazine recently did a piece on her. Fox uh, 25. Correct. More than one. They've done more than one. Um, and so she's become the focal point. She's 64 years old, just turned 64 this month. Uh, the focal point of the uh, the sort of the free Uber movement. Now, Christopher David founded Free Uber. He's sort of the the activist behind the scenes and in front of the scenes. He was the guy who f- first announced that he was going to do civil disobedience and drive for Uber in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, where it is basically illegal to drive for Uber unless you jump through a whole bunch of arbitrary city hoops that Uber says that it thinks are ridiculous and Uber is fighting against those arbitrary hoops, which is where the whole conflict is kind of coming from in the first place out there. But rather than target Christopher David with a, with a ticket for driving for Uber, they went after him for a wiretapping charge, a felony. So he's still he's facing that. I don't think he's been arraigned on that charge yet. I believe that's coming up in 2016. Sometime in January, I believe. Right. So we're going to continue to follow that case for sure. But I think they picked on uh, Stephanie Franz, Uber grandma, because, well, she's an, an, an older lady and she's not a, a you know an activist necessarily so they've spotted her they pulled her over four times and they hit her for uh, thirty five hundred dollars in fines well she's been pulled over a lot more than four times oh really i didn't know that the first couple of times she was given warnings right okay and then she was given the citation so uh, the one thing i wanted to say and then we'll go back to your calls and your thoughts here but the one thing i wanted to say about her was at first she did not want to be in the spotlight She did not want to be an activist. She didn't want to uh, put herself out there. She didn't want to do media interviews. She just wanted to drive. She just wanted to make some extra money, trying, you know, trying to pay the bills, provide a service to people, work in her spare time. She used to be a a school bus driver, for instance. And so she certainly has driving ability and she's been on the roads. And the interesting thing in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, you do not need to jump through these arbitrary hoops and hurdles to drive a school bus, but they want you to jump through these arbitrary <laughs> hoops and hurdles to drive a taxi. You don't need to jump through these hoops and hurdles to drive a limousine. Oh, really? Or one of the uh, the aqua boat things, but yeah. you've got to jump through these hoops and hurdles <laughs> An to drive boat. a taxi. <laughs> don't all boats go in the aqua, in the water? Yeah, sure, but like I, I think they've got some a different form kind of, of like the the duck sort of thing where it's like the kind of goes on the street plus goes in the water. Wow, that's new to me. Like a hovercraft or something like that. No, it's a boat car. <laughs> you have have you a, never you have been a in a this. city that had duck? No, I don't know what that is. It's a boat car thing. So it looks like a boat, but it's got wheels. Huh. And you can drive it down the street, That's and then cool. you drive it onto a pier. Just and, drive off the pier. <laughs> or like the, the ramp into the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You drive in there, and then it's a boat. Sweet. Yeah, I've never seen. I mean, it's something like you, something like you see in a James Bond movie or something like that. So anyway, the thing no, that- we're I, talking about real life. Yeah, I got you. The, so the thing I think is really impressive about her is that initially she wasn't interested in being Uber grandma or anything like that, or really having any attention uh, brought to her. And I can't blame her. I don't like being in front of the cameras either. But once she realized, I think, that she had this support network, that free Uber, this project created by Christopher David and backed by a dozen to two dozen activists regularly showing up at city council meetings, protesting outside a local bar that was anti-Uber, uh, doing various different activism, posting flyers all around town, flyering up business, you know, flyering uh, people on the streets, things like that. Once she realized she wasn't alone in being attacked by the government cuz usually when the government comes after you you are alone you're lucky right. if you're you're lucky if your mom shows up to your court hearing to support you uh, you're lucky if your own family shows up to a court hearing to support you in most places in new hampshire you've got literally dozens of people who are willing to assist with your activism if it's good activism and so when she realized i think that people were behind her on this i i think that gave her the push to be willing to do news media interviews. And she's done them and has been fantastic in them. And the things that she said has been very persuasive. I've got a quote from her that we'll share with you uh, coming up. But my point here is that it's the Free State Project that made Uber Grandma possible. 
Yes. The fact that Christopher David was out there doing his activism and promoting free Uber and bringing activists into the fold to help out with free Uber, when she got ticketed for the first time, everybody was like, okay, who is this lady? we got to talk to her. And they found her, and they talked to her, and they invited her to a meeting, and now she's been going to all the different free Uber-related meetings, from what I understand. I've seen pictures of her at them. Uh, and you've been out there a, a couple times on the Seacoast yes. so far. Have you had a chance to meet her? I did, and I actually live-streamed the full interview she did with Fox 25 That's that right. they then cut into— Two minutes. Two minutes yeah. and had like you know, 15, 20 seconds of Uber Grandma. And uh, and so she's a real powerhouse of an activist now because she had other activists backing her up. I bet you she never would have done it. Had she just been quietly driving and there was no free Uber and there was no Christopher David and the other activists, had she just gotten herself her first ticket, she probably would have been out at that point. But yeah. now she's like doubling down. She's like, screw this. I'm going to keep driving. Uber's providing her with an attorney. They're going to court. She's taking a not, she's going not guilty and they're going to trial. So that's a perfect example of how the Free State Project empowers New Hampshire natives who are just, many of them are quiet. They don't want to be bothered. They don't want to be disturbed. But when the government comes after them, they then know that they've got support out there. They've got a network that they can turn to, which gives them the strength to, to carry on. And I think that that's an awesome effect. We're already seeing it happen here. And I I think the uber grandma is the ideal version of that uh tim you're on the line calling from wyoming go ahead hey guys how you doing hey what's on your mind tonight tim well actually you guys you were talking about the um talking about the state reps earlier and, and just basically government government bureaucrats who decide to do whatever they want to do whether we want them to or not um i, I when i lived in california i used to go into the office of my congress person congresswoman and I would talk to the people in there, and, and actually, I got them to give me, or send me, rather, I, okay, it was on everybody else's time, obviously, the government printing office sent me 200 copies of pocket constitutions, which was, which was kind of nice. I mean, I was happy to get them, and which I passed out. I have, I maybe have 10 of them left after all these years. But, Tim, I want to find uh, out where you're going with this. Stand by. We're going to bring you back. 855 450 free. It's Free Talk Live. So you've got to take a state construction license exam or certification. Can't decide on what books or what chapters to study? Discover right now how you can eliminate unnecessary books and wasted study time. At ContractorExam.com, our study materials zero in on state-required test topics in an effective, multiple-choice format. So whether you're a plumber, electrician, general contractor, or other construction-related trade, ContractorExam.com will help get you prepared. Visit us at www.ContractorExam.com today. If you or someone you care about loves outdoor adventure, then check out Slingbow.com for some unique holiday gift ideas. That's Slingbow.com, where we have some innovative new products for the archer, hunter, or bow fishing enthusiast in your family. Now through January, use the promo code HOLIDAY to get free shipping in the U.S. or Canada. And from all of us at Slingbow Industries, have a safe, joyous, and peaceful holiday season. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. 
Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Uncovering the secrets and exposing the lies. That's what the readers of freedomsphoenix.com get every day. Freedomsphoenix.com, constantly providing the information, the real news about government policies, and the real relationship we all have with the coercive government. The real condition of the economy, innovations in technology, breakthroughs in energy, health, and computer science. Learn the truth well before it's admitted to in the lamestream media. The corporate media, nothing more than distributors of government propaganda, but now there's an alternative freedomsphoenix.com constant news updates on the issues that affect your life in the most important ways with liberty and property under constant attack freedomsphoenix.com provides the understanding behind the propaganda and it encourages the participation of its readers go to freedomsphoenix.com that's freedoms with an s phoenix.com freedomsphoenix.com the revolution between the ears has already happened This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. Free Talk Live. You may dial toll-free to join us here or call in on Skype. Our Skype username is LRN.FM, and joining you in the studio tonight, it's Ian. And Daryl. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Uncovering the secrets and exposing the lies. That's what readers of FreedomsPhoenix.com get every day. Readers of FreedomsPhoenix.com are constantly provided detailed real news that lies between the lines of propaganda and the relationship we have with coercive governments. FreedomsPhoenix.com has up-to-the-minute updates on the economy, technology, communications, and the rise of the police state. Go to FreedomsPhoenix.com. Sign up for their free daily dispatch. That's FreedomsPhoenix.com. As we go to Tim, he's still with us listening in Wyoming. Tim, you were talking about uh, trying to contact state representative. Uh, Go ahead. Well, actually, I was talking about my um, my experience with my congress my congresswoman. Who, who oh, U.S. Congress. Okay, got it. Right, U.S. Congress, but the state representatives seemed to be just as uh, just as reticent. They didn't really want to help with anything either. But when I was able to uh, speak with with people in the office at the at my my U.S. representative, she, um, I mean, they, I should say, it was almost all women working in the office. It was the congresswoman. She had all almost all women working there. Um, some of the people that I had talked to in the past, I went in there a few times, and I and I said, okay, I'm waiting for my box of uh, because they they actually had it delivered to her office, the box of uh, constitutions, and I went and picked them up, and they said, they said, well, we I don't know if we can do this again, but we'll try, and I said, okay, can I get another hundred then, or can I get some more? And they said they sent me another hundred, but then I went back into the office another time. And I talked to somebody else who was working there. It seemed like the whole staff had changed. There was not one single person I recognized. And everybody was giving me the evil eye when I walked in there. And I thought, what's going on? So I asked the person at the front desk. I said, what's, you know, I'm, I want to. I wonder if I can get some more. Actually, I think I was picking up my box of of, of 100 that they gave me again or sent me again. And I asked the person at the desk, I said, what's going on? Why is everybody looking at me like I'm some sort of, you know, some sort of crazy person or criminal or something? And and, and the, uh, per, the the girl said, I, I have no idea. I just started working here and I don't know what's going on. And so I said, well, can you find out what's why is everybody giving me the look like they're they want to kill me? I said, I said, I'm just picking up, I'm picking up these constitutions to hand out to people so that they can read them, so they can understand what the government's all about. Mm-hmm. And actually, and, and then as an aside, I said, since you've only just started working here, you're probably not aware of it, but maybe you are. This person that you're working for, this representative you're working for, is one of the least constitutionally conservative or um, attentive people in the government right now. And so I'm very surprised to have picked these up at all. 
And and she said, oh, that must be the reason that everybody, because as soon as they saw your name on the box, they said, this guy, this guy's some sort of a criminal or something, because he's actually trying to teach people the truth. And I said, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to teach people the truth. And I said, I said, if you're, if you're thinking about doing something worthwhile with your life, working for this woman is not the right thing to do. Mm. And, and she actually quit. So wow. she quit, a, she quit about two weeks later. I went back in there again, just to see it, you know, to see if what I'd said sunk in and she quit. She'd quit. Yeah. And maybe, maybe you did have a role in that. Um, I know that, well, uh, I, I, one of our uh, former folks living here in Keene, Russell Canning, he was in jail and was talking with with one of the jail guards about the immorality of what the guard was doing. And that guard actually quit his job and I believe wrote a letter to Russell later on or somehow contacted him and let him know that it that his conversation with him made an impact. So you never know oh, who you, you never know who you're going to reach when uh, when you talk to folks out there, uh, and and of course we have true. also seen the federal government put out notices to police depart you know police departments and state police saying that folks who have a constitution are possible domestic terrorists. So maybe that's what oh, they thought course. about you. Right. Well, that's. I mean, this was this was about oh probably almost 15 years ago when I did this and 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 well actually let's put it this way it was right after um I think it was just early 2002. Yeah, that's about so, right when the time was that they were sending out those notices for the first time. Tim, thanks for your call. Appreciate right. the story tonight. Okay. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Also Skype us at username lrn.fm. That's what Liberty Phoenix has done. Calling also from Illinois. It's Illinois caller night. We had like three folks call in. Go ahead, uh Phoenix. Do we have Liberty Phoenix? You know what? Sometimes my sound card unexpectedly dies on me, and it always happens at the most inopportune time. And, and uh, yep, that's exactly what has gone on here. So we will do our best to get uh, Liberty Phoenix back on the line with us here in moments. It is not his fault. Uh, but uh, comments, Daryl, on the uh, th- that gentleman's story. Yeah, I, I do think it's kind of odd that there are certain services that your member of Congress is sort of you know required to do as part of their congressional duties, and one of those and that's one is, of them. Uh, yeah, so help with if people want copies of the Constitution, huh. you can actually contact your member of Congress and say, "I want one of the flags that flew over the Capitol building." And they've got people that their job is all day long to raise and lower flags Mm -hmm. so that they can ship these out to anybody that requests a flag flown over the Capitol building. They're they're putting a new flag up every single day? They're probably putting several up every day. Wow. That is ridiculous. Yeah. Call up uh, Annie Custer's office. That's our uh, supposed representative Mm -hmm. in Congress for this district of New Hampshire. (laughs) And, yeah, just tell the person that answers, I want one of the flags that's flown over the Capitol building, and they'll put you on the list, and then you'll get a flag. Yeah, I don't want a And flag. some certificate saying it flew over the Capitol building. Wow, that's ridiculous. I had no idea that even happened. Yeah. And then, like, if you've got problems with, I don't know how to do passport application or whatever, you can send that. And there, there was actually, when I lived in Pennsylvania... There were people that they did not know how to file the vehicle registration stuff with the county. So they would send it to their state rep and the state rep would file the wow. stuff. So like that was one of the services that the state rep state rep provided is filing vehicle. There you go. Crap. You finally got your tax money's worth. Let's try uh, Liberty Phoenix now. I think we've fixed the sound card. Are you there, sir? Hey, guys. Can you hear me? Yes, we've got you. Go ahead. Awesome. So I was recently dragged into a supposed court of law here in Illinois for a couple of charges from due to, you know, traveling, you know, just driving, going from one place to another. Oh, no. Um, How dare you, sir? I know. It's terrible, right? Who knew that Supreme Court could say, you know, we have the right to travel, but then all these states like to make their little laws and stuff. Now, uh, just to clarify, were the charges driving while suspended, unregistered vehicle? What did you get? It was two counts. The first one was driving suspended. The other one was having um, the my, my tags on my plates had expired. Okay, got it. So both driving while suspended and under, unregistered vehicle, basically, or expired tags. Exactly. Right. So I decided to take the uh, challenge jurisdiction tactic. Um, I didn't file any motions beforehand, oh. um, but I had printed them out. Um, so I didn't run into the same problem that Derek J had, which essentially was a lie anyways, because you could still make an oral motion. Um, 
And what was the problem he had? Uh, I guess Burke didn't accept his motion because he didn't file it in writing. He wouldn't accept an oral motion. Hmm. Okay. All motions have to be filed 10 days before the hearing. And the motion in Denied. that case was a motion to challenge jurisdiction. Yes, in Derek days, yes. Got it. Now, they accepted my oral motion. Well, let me start from the beginning. It's never worked I, for me, by the way. I've tried challenging jurisdiction before, and basically the judge will say, yeah, we have jurisdiction because I say we do. Yeah, I tried something silly. similar in South Carolina one time. The jury was dismissed, and I was threatened with arrest for contempt no less than five times. Wow. Yeah, there was a, probably four different uh, violations of due process uh, on, on this day. Mm. Um, I was the first one into the door. I was the second to last one that was seen. Um, they, I had, the moment I came up to the judge the first time, I presented my unsigned challenge or uh, unsigned plea of guilty. Um, the judge and the prosecutor took a look at it and said, just sit down for a minute. We'll get back to you. I need to read this. 45 minutes later, after everyone was gone, there was one other individual who was rep representing himself pro se, which is just representing himself. Um, that was the first pr due process violation. They, uh, the, the problem I had was I told the prosecutor that I was going to challenge jurisdiction. Stand by, oh. Liberty Phoenix. We'll uh, get the rest of your story. Challenging jurisdiction, does it ever work? It's Free Talk Live. I was coming out of the hardware store when I saw him. An old man late 70s hunched over in the freezing rain no hat on his head limping across that slippery parking lot and pushing a row of shopping carts toward the cart corral it's heartbreaking millions of hard-working americans simply don't have enough money to retire so they just keep working and working and working until it's too late hi i'm chad stubbs president and ceo of power trader and i believe that's just plain wrong that's why I'm now distributing to the public absolutely free copies of Power Trader's game-changing book on how regular folks can make the money they need to retire fast. For your free copy, call 1-800-771-6706. Don't let the lack of money rob you of your retirement. Call now for details and get your free copy of this book before it's too late. 1-800-771-6706. But hurry while supplies last. 1-800-771-6706. 1-800-771-6706. Concerned about harmful contaminants in your water? Look to ProPure, the most trusted name in gravity water filtration systems. ProPure, with the silver-infused Pro1 G2.0 filter, removes over 200 contaminants, including VOCs, heavy metals, chloramines, pesticides, pharmaceuticals, fluorides, and radiologicals. We don't just say it, we back it up. The Pro One G 2.0 filter is NSF 42 certified and independently tested to meet NSF 53 and P231 standards. Pro Pure Water, the way nature meant it to be. Clean, crisp, and refreshing. Purchase with confidence in quality, performance, and customer service. Take advantage of our biggest holiday 25% off sale going on now. Visit your authorized Pro Pure dealer or ProPureUSA.com. That's P R O P U R U S A.com. Or call 800-544-3533 800-544-3533 Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it and once I got here I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why if you love liberty you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. LRN.
RN.FM is proud to announce our official listening apps for Android and iOS devices. Now you can easily tune into our streams anywhere, anytime on your smartphone or tablet. Just visit apps.lrn.fm or search for LRN.FM in the Android or Apple app stores. Please download, rate it five stars, then share the link on social media, and let your friends and family know how you're listening to LRN.FM. Download it now, free at apps.lrn.fm. That's apps.lrn.fm. Ross Ulbricht was convicted in early 2015 of running the infamous Silk Road Underground Market. The Silk Road was a gift to humanity and helped reduce the harms brought on by drug prohibition. For this good deed, Ross has been sentenced to life in prison with no possibility of parole. Now, an appeal is Ross's only chance, and he needs your support. Please visit freeross.org, where you can contribute via various methods, including Bitcoin. Visit freeross.org. That's freeross.org. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. You're invited to join us here toll-free. Our number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We've got Skype as well. The Skype username is lrn.fm. With you in studio, Ian here. And Daryl. And also, don't forget to drop into freetalklive.com. If you really like what we're doing here on Free Talk Live and you want to help support the show, the AMP program is the best way to do that. You can go to amp.freetalklive.com. It's 5 bucks a month, and you can use any major credit card through PayPal. Use Visa or MasterCard right on our website. Or now you can use Bitcoin to AMP Free Talk Live. You can do Bitcoin in two ways. You can do a prepaid option from your own Bitcoin wallet, where you prepay for as many months as you want. Or you can do a, a monthly fee from Coinbase, which normally you can't do with Bitcoin just on your normal Bitcoin wallet. But Coinbase does allow that, which is a cool feature that they have. So we have uh, implemented both of those to our AMP program. Go to amp.freetalklive.com. AMP has had a huge, huge number of signups uh, in the last few days since Mark Edge uh, resigned on the air on Saturday night from the show saying that he wanted to see more more supporters behind the AMP program before he'd be willing to come back. And we've had a 15% increase in the number of amplifiers. We've had uh, like 48. As of last night, I stopped doing I, I was up for like three hours processing new amplifiers last night. Uh, and I, so at about 3 a.m., I finally finished. And since then, we've had another you know 10 emails come in today. So it's been super busy. So as of last night, uh, there have been 48 new signups. And that doesn't include the seven or so current amplifiers that also upped their existing amp. Nice. So it's been actually a few hundreds, if not several hundred dollars that we've added to the amp program. You can see where we're at. There's a little graph over at amp.freetalklive.com. It'll give you more information about the program and what some of the money is being used for to help promote Free Talk Live. And also LRN.FM, which we don't talk about a lot here on Free Talk Live. Uh, but LRN.FM features dozens of liberty-oriented shows, including all three of your uh, podcasts, I believe, Daryl. Yes. And, uh, again, dozens of shows from across the country and some international as well. Go to amp.freetalklive.com, and your AMP dollars go to support both Free Talk Live and LRN.FM. And you get perks like access to the AMP-only call-in lines, AMP-only uh, podcast, and the AMP-only Facebook group, AMP, A-M-P, dot freetalklive.com. As we go back to Liberty Phoenix in Illinois, you went to court on some driving-related stuff, uh, suspended license, registration was expired, and you decided you were going to challenge jurisdiction. You say you made a mistake by informing the prosecutor of that in advance. Why? Because I had asked him, and during the 45 minutes that they, that they delayed my hearing, um, the prosecutor came over and did his little thing trying to you know, try and get me to plea or figure out what was going on. And I asked him, have you presented any evidence to establish jurisdiction uh, simply because, or, or to prove that the Constitution and the code apply to me simply because I'm physically present? He flat out said, no, I have no evidence whatsoever. And I said, well, I'm going to have to motion for a dismissal. He says, well, just take a look at your ticket. You know, it's right there. I was like, no, 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 no. We both know that the ticket is nothing but an allegation. There is absolutely, it doesn't prove yeah, anything whatsoever. the ticket's whatsoever. not evidence. That's yep, just nothing. That's what they use to start the court, the court process, basically. Right. Me writing down Liberty Phoenix said this and did that is not evidence. 
But yet, if I have a little shiny badge and I write down Liberty Phoenix ran a stop sign and said, F you pig, all of a sudden. Well, it's still not evidence until they testify in court. But they're going to accept it as basically, you know, the word of God because some guy with a little shiny badge said it. So I told him that I was going to file you know, file a motion to dismiss, and that right there set him off. He was like, "Okay, I, I I saw." He was like, "Just wait a minute. We'll we'll talk in a bit." And I saw him go and talk to the lead prosecutor, and then the lead prosecutor spoke to the judge. And bear in mind, there's only one other individual in the courtroom. There was another young lady who was there waiting f- to either be uh, sentenced or something. And then there was one uh, trial that was supposed to start when all of the hearings were done. In the meantime, they completely skipped over me. They moved to the trial portion of the day, which was another due process violation, in order to stall me out so that the I don't think prosecutor- so. They can do whatever they want in whatever order they want in, in court. That's probably not a, a violation. As long as you get your hearing, then they're, they're that's pretty much legal from their perspective. But anyway, right. they made you wait, so then go ahead. So they waited. They made me wait so that the prosecutor could get a hold of the arresting officer and get him down there to testify. Mm-hmm. Now... Had I been on my toes, I would have stated that the officer's testimony is a moot point because it's only a legal opinion. The, the, the judge, I had asked if, if his uh, testimony establishes evidence and proof of jurisdiction. And the, the judge looks at me and says, it's my legal opinion that it does. Now, if I would have stated that, Your Honor, your legal opinion is nothing but an arbitrary opinion that is not fact nor evidence, are you telling me that this court runs on arbitrary opinions as yes. opposed to facts and evidence? Yes, absolutely. All courts run on opinions. I mean, whenever a judge makes a decision, it's an opinion, which is why other judges higher up can overturn it. And then those same judges or those different, like even if you went to the New or the uh, Illinois Supreme Court, they would issue an opinion, and then a different Illinois Supreme Court could overturn that opinion years later. Yes. All all uh, court decisions are are opinion. But, you know, I'm interested in seeing the video from this, uh, Liberty Phoenix. You, you got video, right? Oh, you're so cute, Ian. <laughs> you know that Illinois doesn't allow cameras in, New ha- in, in the courtroom, which is why I should have done it in New Hampshire. Yeah, I know. But you had family matters. You had to get back out there. Liberty Phoenix came out to uh, New Hampshire for several months. I think it was earlier in this year. Yes. And uh, you had a blast. You have uh, some kids back there in, in Illinois, so you had to get back there. But I'm sure you were missing us when you were likely alone. Did you have anybody in court backing you up? Not a single person. That sucks, dude. I'm sorry to hear that. Any married people? Um, there may have been. <laughs> so wait. Sure. So okay. So what happened with the rest of the case? So the, uh, the 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 judge tells me you have two options. You can either plead guilty or you can plead not guilty. Mm-hmm. I was like, um, Your Honor, I motion for a continuance. A he continuance of the arraignment? Yes. <laughs> he kind of looked at me sideways and goes, "Okay, I'll, I'll grant." Really? That's kind of a yeah, surprise. I'm so- I was rather surprised myself. I, I, I told myself that the best case scenario that I could have is to get it dismissed. Second best, push for everything, push everything, file, file motion for a continuance and get that granted. Mm-hmm. Second best, I got that. I can be happy with that. It gives me more time to develop yeah, my you get to skills replay in the courtroom it. better. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you, you get to, to redo this basically because no, nothing actually really even happened besides the granting of the continuance. Now, if only that was the truth. I have a feeling that he entered a plea for me because I didn't even hear the charges. I didn't hear the second charge, nor nor did he read off the first charge. I went back um, when I got home that day and I checked the status of my of my you know situation or whatever, and it said that my, my next appearance was going to be for a bench trial. Uh, and I haven't even entered a plea yet. So so now I, that sounds like a due to... process violation to me. Let, let me ask this question, Liberty Phoenix. Uh, what are the rules in Illinois about having someone represent you? Um, I can have someone represent me that's not a member of the bar, um, but I have to fill out a form. Okay, so can you, you you can have someone basically at the defense table with you? I believe so, yeah. Okay, so uh, a trick that I've heard uh, Mark Victor use before He'll have someone that's not the defendant sit at the defense table. He notifies the judge, your honor, the defendant is in the courtroom. 
And then he'll ask the arresting officer, can you identify the defendant? <laughs> and they always say, the it's the, the def- person wearing blah, 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 oh, sitting wow. at the defense table. Objection, Your Honor, would the defendant please stand up? And it's somebody in the back of the courtroom. Oh, that's uh, brilliant. The the witness note that the witness did not properly identify motion the defendant. To dismiss. Motion to withdraw uh you know, reject his testimony. Oh and man. And then there's no other people on the prosecution. Motion to dismiss. That'll work in Have a place somebody I, I, yeah. If possible, in a, in a place like Chicago or wherever, some place that's big where they don't know you, that will I think right. that is a good strategy. So, if possible, Liberty Phoenix, have a friend show up with you, act as though you're legal counsel, mm-hmm. and ask the officer, "Can you identify the defendant?" And if they so identify would, the person sitting next to you, yeah, that might work as the defendant. I, then I they, the they identify the wrong person. Can, Sorry, what? The only way that will work is if I can successfully motion to vacate um, this plea that the the, the judge has entered. Um, no, as far as I know, because no, because they're going to trial. So you're, you're going to bench trial. What Daryl's suggesting, although the, uh, I think a better version of this would be to have two people, right? Because then you have one person up there as the uh, representative who's not Liberty Phoenix. Liberty Phoenix sits in the uh, sits in the audience. The second person is sitting up there too. So two the two people who are not Liberty Phoenix would be sitting up at the at the stand. And then True. Phoenix would be in the back of the room. If if the people don't know you, that works, right? But like here in Keene, everybody knows who Ian and Daryl are, right. so uh, that wouldn't probably wouldn't fly with us. Hey, Phoenix, good luck, man, and thanks for the call tonight. Uh, of course, it's a lot easier when you do this stuff in New Hampshire because recruiting people to do this, these ideas, is relatively easy. Uh, the toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free. Hour three is on the way. Free talk live. Are your kids spending too much time online? Are they gaming instead of doing homework? Are they on Facebook instead of sleeping? Turn their internet access on or off when you want for free at webcurfew.com. 100% web-based interface means nothing to download, install, or configure. Web Curfew is free and controls any device using your home network without slowing down your internet. Block all adult web content with a click of a button. Don't let the internet raise your kids. Take back control of how and when your home internet is used for free. Visit webcurfew.com. As a pioneer of the e-commerce movement, Overstock.com is proud to be the first major retailer to accept Bitcoin. Overstock was the first because Patrick Byrne, Overstock's CEO and founder, firmly believes in personal freedom and cryptocurrency. Over the past 16 years, Overstock has furnished over 18 million homes with a diverse line of products to suit everyone's unique styles and preferences. Support Overstock and freedom of choice while enjoying free shipping on orders of .211 Bitcoin or more. So you've signed the Shire Society Declaration and are planning your move to New Hampshire to be around more liberty-oriented people. Next, sign up for the Shire Society Forum at forum.shiresociety.com. There are a bunch of people there who are already in the Shire, and they want to meet you. If you're already in the Shire physically, you should also come by the forums. Remember, not everyone uses Facebook. New people are signing up for the Shire Society Forum every month, so drop in and say hello at forum.shiresociety.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Wednesday, December 23rd, 2015. Silver is trading at $14.26 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,073 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $442. 
Antiwar.com reports UN Human Rights Chief Zid Raad Al Hussein addressed the Security Council on Tuesday and warned that Saudi Arabia seems to be disproportionately responsible for civilian deaths in the ongoing Yemen war, a nine-month conflict that led to enormous civilian casualties. Saudi Arabia began airstrikes against Yemen back in March and has repeatedly faced reports from human rights groups of enormous civilian death tolls and airstrikes against residential areas. During the UN General Assembly, however, Saudi officials managed to block efforts to investigate the killings, rather getting the UN to empower them to investigate themselves. U.S. Ambassador to the UN, Samantha Power, told reporters that the U.S. has been urging Saudi Arabia to ensure lawful and discriminate targeting, though this has not stopped the U.S. from providing much of the weaponry used in the strikes and to help coordinate the war. The Saudi war has from the start been faulted for its horrendous impact on human rights, which has included not just airstrikes on populated areas, but also a full naval blockade of Yemen, which has brought food imports to the nation, which historically has had to import 90% of its food, has been brought to a comparative halt. For nearly 40 years, Roberts & Roberts Brokerage has been a trusted source for buying and selling precious metals like gold and silver. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and have permanently removed the minimum purchase amount for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on buying and selling precious metals and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 800-874-9760 or visit online at rrbi.co. UPI reports two Venezuelan businessmen who live in the United States were recently arrested on charges of bribing officials of Venezuela's government-owned PDVSA oil company in a scheme worth more than $1 billion. Roberto Rincon Fernandez and Abraham Sierra were arrested Wednesday. Court documents released on Monday indicate the men were charged with wire fraud, conspiring to launder money, and violating the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act, which prohibits American businesses or individuals from bribing government government officials in other countries to obtain business. Rincon Fernandez was held without bail because there is a serious risk that he will flee and because he has significant assets which could fund a fugitive lifestyle. The court document states that Rincon Fernandez has lived in the Houston area for about 10 years and owns a home worth $5 million, also owning homes in Spain and Aruba. Rincon Fernandez was arrested in Texas and has pled not guilty. Shiara, who lives in Florida and was arrested there, has not yet entered a plea. If you're fed up with the government running every aspect of your life, but you're not listening to the Lava Flow podcast yet, what's wrong with you? Go right now to thelavaflow.com slash listen. The Lava Flow podcast, channeling the flow of information to the libertarian, anarcho-capitalist, voluntarist, and agorist community. Subscribe today using any podcatcher at thelavaflow.com slash listen, or just go back to sucking up to the government. The Lava Flow podcast, striking the root every episode. Reuters reports Kentucky's new governor on Tuesday ordered county clerks' names removed from state marriage license forms at the center of a controversy involving Rowan County Clerk Kim Davis, who was jailed earlier in the year after refusing to issue state marriage licenses. Governor Matt Bevin had said shortly after his election in November as only the second Republican governor of Kentucky since 1971 that he would change the forms that had drawn objection from Davis and some other clerks. It was unclear what effect Bevin's executive order would have on the case of Davis, who made Kentucky a focal point in the debate over same-sex marriage in the United States when she refused to issue any marriage licenses even after the U.S. Supreme Court in June made same-sex marriage legal across the United States. Davis took steps to remove her name and office from the forms after she was released and a deputy clerk had issued licenses since she was jailed in early September. Former Governor Bashir has said he had no authority to relieve county clerks of their statutory duties by executive order and that the state legislature could address the issue. Governor Bevin also rescinded Bashir's recent order restoring voting rights to most felons in the state. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. With each successive bite failing to relieve his anxieties, increasingly worried man Dylan Hawks told reporters today that he has yet to come across any trace of guacamole in his burrito, despite having specifically requested it when ordering. No, there definitely wasn't any guac there. Cheese, beans, chorizo. Oh man, I hope they didn't forget. 
Hawks has continued to maintain hope that there may still be an undiscovered sliver of avocado somewhere in his tortilla. However, with his fears for the meal mounting, Hawks has reportedly considered asking the cashier for a refund at various points while eating the burrito. The thing is, if you had a burrito and it was missing cheese, you might not notice it because there's sour cream, but guacamole is completely different. I just don't know how I wouldn't have tasted it by now. Christ, I'm almost done with this thing. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live. You do have Free Talk Live, and we'd like to have you. If you want to dial in toll-free, you can bring up whatever's on your mind. Still to come, the Muslim family who was denied access to the United States. Daryl's got that story. And then another story about some Muslims who actually protected uh, Christians during an attack in Kenya. Because, you know, Muslims are so bad and they hate all Christians, right? Toll-free number 855-450-FREE, 855-450-3733. We also have Skype. The Skype username is lrn.fm. Daryl, let's jump into that story uh, that you have. And what is the source, if you don't mind? This comes from the Washington Post. All right. And they report as Muhammad Tariq Mahmood sat in the departure lounge. Oh, he's obviously lounge, trouble with a name like that. Sat in the departure lounge of London's Gatwick Airport last week. He was surrounded by giddy children, ecstatic for the 11-hour flight that would ferry them to Disneyland. Children who were strapped with bombs so they could blow Disneyland up. Mahmood's 10-year-old niece scribbled in her diary, Mickey Mouse, I'm look looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. And she drew a colorful illustration complete with oversized ears. She concluded, <laughs> I've got to go now. We're getting on the plane. But they never so they did. Thought. Border control officer on orders from Washington intervened. Mahmoud said the border patrol agent told him and his brother that their family of 11 had been wow. barred from the flight. What was supposed to be a dream vacation instead Aww. became on Wednesday just the latest flashpoint in a debate over Islam and security that inflamed passions on both sides of the Atlantic. U.S. officials strongly denied that Mahmoud and his family was targeted based on their religion, but the case prompted America's largest Muslim advocacy organization to call for an investigation mm. into whether Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump's proposal to ban Muslims from entering the United States was being implemented informally by the Department of Homeland Security. So the Department of Homeland Security had an agent in, it was Great Britain? Where are these guys? Uh, London's Gatwick Airport. So there was an agent working for the United States government who's there who stopped. Not them. necessarily. Could okay. have been someone from the U.S. Department of Homeland Security that contacted Border Patrol from, from London. Great Britain, and they did the bidding of the the U.S. government. Yes. Gotcha. A prominent. And they won't say why, right? Uh, that's correct. Right. A prominent British parliamentarian, meanwhile, demanded that Prime Minister David Cameron press U.S. officials for an explanation, something that Mahmoud said he had not been given more than a week after the aborted December 15th flight. Mm. Mahmoud said, the only explanation I can think of is that my name is Mohammed. Yeah, that's uh, probably... The, Probably really all it is. The 41-year-old is the owner of a London gym. So obviously mm. he's just working out so that he can right. carry bigger bombs, <laughs> apparently. U.S. officials said little about the case on Wednesday, citing federal law protecting the privacy of air travelers. But oh, they, right. So uh, there's a law that says we can't talk about this, so therefore we can't tell you why we did this. Yes. But uh, U.S. officials emphasized that under U.S. immigration law, and note, he was not trying to immigrate. He was trying to visit Disney with his <laughs> right. family. But under U.S. immigration law, a traveler cannot be denied admission due to religion, faith, or spiritual beliefs. Hmm. The U.S. Customs and Border Protection Agency said in a statement that the law lists more than 60 other possible reasons for inadmissibility, including... Health, prior criminal convictions, security, 
And that's basically the all encompassing security, yeah, it's, public charge, labor certification, illegal entrance and immigration violations, documentation requirements, and miscellaneous. So one reason why this is suspicious, um, because they won't give you the actual excuse, their reasoning for right. this ban. Here's the list of all the reasons we can deny somebody. Figure it out. But they won't say which one. They won't give any specifics. But yet, you know, Daryl, if the government had actually stopped a terror plot, they would have been putting all that out there, like, "Oh yeah, we we knew Here's this person guy, was going to do blah, a bombing." Blah blah blah. Right. This that the other. Yeah, thing. because well, of course, whatever. What usually happens in these cases, it's really the FBI that gins up these supposed bombers. Then they stop them before they set off a fake bomb that the FBI gave them. The FBI gives them the van. Right. They give them a hotel to stay in. They give them the money. They give you know they they basically set the whole thing up. There, there then, was a story a while back about some mosque. I think it was in Minnesota mm-hmm. where the imam called the FBI and said, and there's some people that are acting really, really strange. Turned out... They were agents. It was the FBI agents that were undercover going to infiltrate the mosque to find people that were radical. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I remember that case. And so in, in all of those cases, the FBI... Then they put out a press release saying, well, so-and-so was planning to bomb this and that, and then they'll give all kinds of information about why you, you know, what you need to know yeah. about these supposed terrorists. In this case, they won't say anything. So, I mean, right. what, does that, what does that tell you? That, uh, yeah, they don't really know their you-know-what from a hole in the ground. Yeah. The article continues. It says, but on both sides of the Atlantic, Muslims say they feared that the true cause of Mahmoud's family's ban and others like it was the anti-Muslim hysteria being whipped up on the Republican campaign trail. Donald Trump earlier this month called for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. The proposal came days after a husband and wife pair shot up an office party in San Bernardino, California, killing 14 people in an attack that the Islamic State has claimed to have inspired. Since then, President Obama has used an Oval Office address to preach tolerance and to remind Americans that it is our responsibility to reject religious tests on who we admit into the country. But in a letter to DHS on Wednesday, the Council on American-Islamic Relations asked for a probe into whether the department was effectively implementing Trump's proposal. Hmm. The letter cited a real and growing perception in the Muslim community that it is being increasingly targeted by DHS officials. It's just going to get worse, I suspect. Yes. A well-known British imam, Ajmal Masroor, reported that he was told last week his visa had been revoked and he was prevented from flying to the United States. He wrote in a Facebook post, I'm baffled, annoyed, and angry. Mm. USA has the right to issue and revoke visa. I fully understand that. However, not forwarding any reason infuriates ordinary people. It does not win the hearts and minds of people. It turns them off. Yeah, you know, you might be sitting back listening to this and thinking, oh, it's only happening to those Muslims. But eventually, this could come around to you. This could come around to affect you because of a belief that you have. Or, you know, maybe it's not a religious belief. Maybe you are uh, pro-freedom. Maybe you don't like the government telling everybody what to do all the time. Maybe they'll make it so you can't travel at some point. And we already know that they're proposing internal passports for uh, traveling if you don't don't live in a state that has the real ID-compliant ID card then you'll have to use a government passport in order to get around. And there's also news about how now the IRS can revoke your passport. If you if they claim that you owe back taxes over $50,000, $50, and with everything, they can always change that number. Yeah, it could go down to 25000 in it a couple years. It could go down to 1000 Exactly. So, you know, look out, because this could target you. You know, you can't just stand back and just fold your arms and say, oh, sucks to be Muslim. Because you've got to stand up for other people's rights, even people for whom, with whom you disagree. And I think a lot of people disagree with Muslims, but they don't know anything about them. All they right. know is what they've ever heard on Fox News or Rush Limbaugh or whatever other talking head political commentary show. And, and those shows will not tell you stories like this out of the BBC where a group of Kenyan Muslims traveling on a bus that was ambushed by Islamist gunmen – protected Christian passengers by refusing to be split into groups, according to eyewitnesses. There's a little bit more on this, yeah. and it's even more infuriating oh, than no. just he wasn't allowed into the U.S. 
Okay. He says that he found the last-minute cancellation of his family's Disneyland trip humiliating and that his children, nieces, and nephews have been traumatized. It's horrifying. He says, I gave in to the kids. The family saved for months, paid more than $13,000 for their plane tickets. I bet that didn't get refunded. The money, the airline says, is non-refundable. It's ridiculous. $13,000 for a trip to the airport to find out that he can't go to Disney. It's insane. The toll-free number here is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We'll talk about the Muslims saving the Christians. It's Free Talk Live. Bloated belly? Gas? Acid reflux? You could have pounds of rotting, rancid, toxic gunk clogging up your gut right now. And with all the processed food we're exposed to today, it's no wonder why. Fortunately, there's New Biotics, our first-ever gunk buster for cleansing that toxic gunk out of your body. And right now, we're giving away a free trial to anyone who calls the following toll-free number, 1-800-983-2573. Strict limit of one free trial per household. With pounds of toxic gunk clogging up your gut, it's no wonder you don't feel good. Made with natural ingredients, New Biotics is our first-ever gunk buster scientifically designed to unclog your gut and cleanse that gunk from your body, flattening your belly and combating periodic bloating, excess gas, heartburn, and acid reflux. But hurry, call now for your free trial of New Biotics while we're still giving it away for free. 1-800-983-2573. Call now for details. 1-800-983-2573. That's 1-800-983-2573. Did you know that home break-ins increase more than 100% during the holidays? It takes just 10 seconds for an intruder to kick in your door. But police response to a home alarm system is more than 20 minutes. And intruders are in and out of your home in 5 minutes. Thieves know that you're not home and have presents inside just waiting to be taken. And if you are home, how safe will you feel with an intruder lurking inside with your family? That's why police across the country are recommending you use door armor. Proven to withstand the force of a battering ram, Door Armor keeps intruders out. It's easy to install and barely visible, and your Door Armor is guaranteed for life. Go to InvasionStopper.com for a very special buy one, get one at half off deal. These savings are for a limited time and only available to GCN listeners. Protect your valuables and loved ones this holiday season. Go to InvasionStopper.com now. That's InvasionStopper.com. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist, libertarian community, and it's, it's only getting bigger. That's amazing, to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com, 101reasonsfilm.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Why are you playing a slot machine sound for an online poker site? Do you have a poker sound effect? Because we have a new advertiser, swcpoker.eu. Brought to you by the same guys that did seals with clubs. Now they're called swcpoker.eu. It's Bitcoin Poker 2.0. They have lots of new games, including Chinese poker. The Krill leaderboard is active now. It's Bitcoin Poker from the brand you trust, swcpoker.eu. Get on over to swcpoker.eu and start playing now. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. Yeah. You can join. 
join us on Free Talk Live. The toll-free number here is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. There's a lot of misinformation out there about Muslims and what they actually believe. So we'll share a story with you about some Muslims protecting Christians from what could have been a messy fate, perhaps. Uh, with you in the studio tonight, it's Ian. And Daryl. Coming up in just under two months from today, Liberty Forum 2016. Free Talk Live will be broadcasting live from the event, and we'll look forward to seeing you there. If you're going to be there, you should be. If you care about liberty and you are considering a move to New Hampshire as part of the Free State Project. This is the event to attend. Now, it is in the heart of wintertime, which means you'll get a little bit of a taste for what things are like here in New Hampshire. But by the way, uh, I know winter just officially started like yesterday or whatever. Yes. But uh, it's going to be in the 60s tomorrow for Christmas Eve. When I drove by the middle school earlier today, yeah. it's one of two places that has the you know temperature, time, and temp. It was 50 degrees. Yeah. It's been super nice so far uh, this season. And uh, so I can't tell you what it's going to be like in the middle of February when it's probably going to be the worst of the worst. But this year, though, thus far, it's been relatively warm. Uh, go to nhlibertyforum.com. Either way, whatever the temperature is outside, it'll be nice and warm inside the Radisson Hotel in the heart of downtown Manchester, which is the new venue. It started. We started at this venue last year. This event is the ninth year for the Liberty Forum. Uh, this is an awesome venue. It's the biggest convention hotel in all of New Hampshire, and there will be hundreds of liberty-minded people in attendance. Daryl, you and I will be there. Yes. In fact, we are listed on the list of speakers for the event uh, because you and I will be head headlining, not really a speaking occasion, but the New Hampshire Liberty Party has its convention inside the Liberty Forum, so uh, we'll be doing that there. But more importantly, you get to see folks like Edward Snowden speak. Ed Snowden will be on via video link from Moscow, where he unfortunately cannot leave due to the fact that the federal government will kidnap him if he tries to come to the United States. But it's uh, it's going to be an honor to have him there. Lynn Ulbricht is back. I just noticed her face pop up on the list of speakers over at nhlibertyforum.com. She was one of the headliners last year and gave an amazing speech. What portion I saw of it, because we're normally working during the keynote speeches, on Free Talk Live, but uh, she is, of course, the mother of Ross Ulbricht, who is now spending life in prison because he ran a website called The Silk Road, which is the most infamous underground uh, marketplace on the Internet. So she's a Free State Project participant. I don't think Edward Snowden is yet a Free State Project signer, but I imagine someone's going to ask him to become a Free State Project signer. Yes. Which he probably won't be able to fulfill his pledge because the idea of the Free State Project is to get to 20,000 signers. We have over 18,000, so we're at 90%. Uh, but once the 20,000 number is reached, there's a five-year window of time in which uh, those folks have to move to New Hampshire. I suspect he's probably not going to be pardoned or anything like that within five years or yeah, so. Yeah, none of the Republicans or Democrats that are running have said nice things about no. Edward Snowden. Yeah, not even like, Rand Paul. The The nicest thing Rand Paul has said about Edward Snowden is that he should share a jail cell with uh, the guy that ran the NSA. Yeah, that's not a nice thing at all to say. Right, but no, that's the nicest yeah. thing that was said. And people are construing that to be all kinds of, see, Rand's saying that like Edward doesn't belong because that's why he's saying you should be in there with the guy that did the stuff. It's like, then say, drop all the charges. Yeah. Take a more firm Don't position. Don't say he should be in jail. Right. And I get what you're saying is that because the NSA guy isn't in jail, that Rand wants him to be in the same cell, but he's not in a cell, but ultimately Rand really wants to put them both in a cell. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so Edward Snowden, hero, he's going to be speaking at the Liberty Forum and a bunch of others who have yet to be announced. There's a, a list of several that are announced over at nhlibertyforum.com, but there are there's probably going to be two more keynote speakers that they've yet to reveal. So I'm excited to find out who they will be, and we're going to be broadcasting live. It's February 18th through the 21st. It's a full weekend starting on a Thursday, February 18th through the 21st. Go to nhlibertyforum.com. Tickets are affordable for this thing. You definitely want to be there if you can make it up to New Hampshire during that time frame. It's a great uh, excuse to come up and meet the people that you hear so much about on this radio program. Folks like Christopher David. I don't know if he's going to be there, but I'd be shocked if he's not. Uh, those folks, you know, Dave Ridley, those kind of people that you hear a lot about on this show, many of them attend the Liberty Forum. NHLibertyForum.com. Kenyan Muslims traveling on a bus. The story from the BBC News published two days ago. So pretty fresh. Uh, was is uh, was ambushed by Islamist gunmen 
And those Kenyan Muslims on that bus protected Christian passengers by refusing to be split into groups, according to eyewitnesses. They told the militants, quote, to kill them together or leave them alone, unquote, according to a local governor uh, in uh, told Kenyan media. At least, at least two people were killed in the attack near the northeastern village of El Wak on the Somali border. The Somali-based Al-Shabaab group says it carried out the attack. The group often carries out attacks in Kenya's northeast. The bus was traveling from the capital Nairobi to the town of Mandera when Al-Shabaab killed 148 people in an attack on Garissa University College in April. The militants reportedly singled out Christians and shot them while freeing many Muslims. Last year, a bus was attacked near Mandera by Al-Shabaab militants who killed 28 non-Muslims traveling to Nairobi for the Christmas holidays. The locals showed a sense of patriotism and belonging to each other, according to Mandera Governor Ali Roba. Uh, The militants decided to leave after the passengers' show of unity, he added. The passengers on the bus showed great bravery, but there was another quality revealed by the surprising decision to stand up to the gunmen. Frustration. The majority of the local population in the Northeast are Kenyan Muslims of Somali descent, and they've been hit hard by the consequences of al-Shabaab attacks, even if non-Muslims are supposedly the main target of that Somali militant group. An attack last year in Mandera, in which Christians were killed after being separated from Muslims, caused the departure of more than 2,000 teachers, as well as many health workers who'd come from other parts of the country. Perhaps the passengers felt the region could simply not afford another such attack. It will be interesting to see if their actions embolden local populations to increase their resistance to al-Shabaab, which has attacked the area several times. An employee of the Makkah bus company who had spoken to the driver involved in the attack confirmed to the BBC that Muslims had refused to be separated from their fellow Christian passengers. One of the victims was shot dead after trying to run away from the militants after passengers had been forced off the bus. Uh, And Al-Shabaab has been at war with Kenya ever since Kenyan forces entered Somalia in 2011 in an effort to crush the militants. Kenya's northeastern region has a large population of ethnic Somalis. So there you have an example of how Muslims opposed other Muslims. So you have the violent Muslims who are crazy and dangerous and are kidnapping people and murdering people. And then you have regular Muslims who are peaceful and loving and so loving and caring for their neighbors that they literally put their own lives on the line in order to defend their Christian brothers. That, to me, is my understanding of being Muslim, is showing love and embodying peace towards your fellow man. Now, maybe they would like to ultimately persuade the Christians to join their religion, but there's a difference between peaceful persuasion and the butt of a gun. Right. And so this is a this is a story that you are likely not going to see reported on Fox News. You are likely not going to see it reported in most mainstream media in the United States. And that's because it doesn't fit in with the the narrative. They'll report on the story where the Muslims get separated from the Christians and the Christians executed. That story got reported on. But this one I challenge you to find more than 10 news sources in the United States carrying the story. And most of the civil war in Syria, it's One group of people claiming to be Muslims fighting another group of people claiming to be Muslims. By now you know that wireless technology like cell phones do in fact pose dangers to the health and privacy of everyone. Blockit Pocket's wide range of products are unmatched in providing the protection you deserve. No scare tactics, just common sense. BlockitPocket.com offers quality American-made options to alleviate and eliminate these invisible dangers. Learn more at BlockitPocket.com or call 888-315-9 blockitpocket.com enhancing health and privacy so you've got to take a state construction license exam or certification can't decide on what books or what chapters to study discover right now how you can eliminate unnecessary books and wasted study time at contractorexam.com our study materials zero in on state required test topics in an effective multiple choice format so whether you're a plumber electrician general contractor or other construction related trade contractorexam.com will help get you prepared visit us at www.contractorexam.com today You can't win if you don't enter, and you actually can improve your chances of winning a prize drawing 
if you wrinkle up your entry blank. I'm Holland Cook from survivalspeech.com, and I speak from experience. Why this works? If they'll be spinning the drum before drawing, your entry blank will move around more than, and not adhere to, other perfectly flat entry blanks. And if they don't spin the drum and merely reach into a box full of other perfectly flat entry blanks, many of which are sticking together, yours will feel different to the person reaching in. When you win, act surprised. And if you're looking for work, this is a metaphor. For more tips on sticking out in a world where just too much blends into the blah, 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 hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. Silver and gold, silver and gold, how do you measure its worth? Just by the pleasure it gives here on earth. Roberts and Roberts Brookreach hopes you have a happy holiday season and a prosperous 2016. We're available 24 7 at rrbi.co or call 800 874 9760. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. Free Talk Live. What is your goal? What do you want of this revolution that you just, speak of? you got to stir things up enough for the people will actually revolt in a big way. And what will that uh, result millions in? Millions of people in the street, you know, and the military guys ain't going to like so it. So what, what is your out. goal? You don't really know, do you? You don't really know what well, you want it, besides it, chaos. Uh, a bloody revolution in the streets. Is you the want a bloody way. revolution? This is why I don't want to associate with people like you. Thank you for the call. You're dangerous and crazy, in my opinion, if you're talking about bloody revolution. Violent revolution just results in more violence in the future because the people who were the most violent are the ones that rise to power in whatever new power structure is created after the revolution's all over and done with, after the blood has spilt. whoopie doo you've changed out one gang of criminals for another gang of thugs free talk live seven nights a week from seven to ten eastern live on the liberty radio network at lrn.fm if you enjoy lrn.fm please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm that's amp.lrn.fm Free Talk Live, inviting you to join us here, toll free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. If you would like to support Free Talk Live, you can do that. It's probably uh, probably too late to get things in time for uh, the Christmas holiday by mail if you go online to saveitpurse.com or shop.freetalklive.com but you know you still got to get stuff even after the holiday season and maybe you'll uh, get some cash or check from your family uh, for uh, the holiday season you can go and spend that at saveitpurse.com by converting it into bitcoin because you have to have bitcoin to use saveitpurse.com and then you get to save 20 25 30 maybe even more 50 percent you got somebody to to uh, to buy a 50 percent off item recently right yes uh new but cell, it hasn't phone, been delivered cell yet. phone it's not Still been waiting. shipped yeah. but i do have the amazon order number i always wait until it comes to, it comes to me because there's always a chance that somebody will cancel right uh, on, on you with uh, with save it purse so basically what you're doing with save it purse.com is you put your bitcoin into a marketplace and then somebody who wants that bitcoin who's willing to pay 30 percent or 20 percent or whatever over the market price of bitcoin and there's reasons why people want to do that like i wouldn't want to do it but there's a there are plenty of people in the world who would want to do that and so they buy your order on amazon for you you they're paying full price for the order and then you give them the amount of Bitcoin they've agreed. So right. You're giving so them- you put the stuff that you want to buy from Amazon into a wish list. Correct. You put that wish list into the website there at uh, saveitpurse.com, and then it will show up. Here's the items. 
Yep. Name your discount. Anywhere from five percent to fifty. Slide. If it's five percent, it's per instant. You don't have to wait. It gets bought right, right instant, instantaneously. There. Yes. Uh, but anything else, they you might will have to guarantee wait. a twenty-four hour purchase if it's below ten percent. Mm-hmm. I put something before this show in a wish list. Asked for thirty-five percent within an hour. Within an hour. Within. Well, it was actually one hour and fifteen minutes wow. to be exact. For thirty-five percent. For thirty-five percent off. 35% off. And a lot of these people that are buying things for you at SaveItPurse.com, they'll give you Prime. They've got Amazon Prime, so you benefit from that because they use Amazon Prime to ship you the thing. Usually, you get it in two days. Yeah. So it's incredible. Go to SaveItPurse.com. This is a perfect reason to get Bitcoin. If you haven't yet gotten some Bitcoin, now you don't have an excuse anymore because, well, gosh, if you shop online at Amazon, why wouldn't you want to save 20 30 35%? It's so easy to do. Uh, every time I put in something at 20%, it's like an hour or less before somebody picks it up. It's amazing. Save at Purse. That's saveatpurse.com. Go there, get whatever you need to get from Amazon. Uh, our toll-free number tonight is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. There's news out of uh, Portsmouth, New Hampshire, with the whole free Uber project. This Monday, uh, there were activists at the city council meeting there where the, the city council was looking at a proposed change to their ordinances that would slightly lessen the restrictions on Uber. The, it's basically illegal for someone to be an Uber driver and drive on the streets of Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Without getting some sort of I'm a taxi license. Yeah, apparently there's like one or two obedient Uber drivers who have gone and signed up for that license. And paid like $50 and jumped through a hoop and got and a background, got a background check, check. Which, and... by the way, Uber already does background checks. It's just that the Uber background check isn't going to flag somebody who, let's say, got busted for a minor minor misdemeanor offense that doesn't involve any kind of violence or anything like that, like possession of uh, underage possession of alcohol or uh, possession of marijuana or something like that. And something that's kind of odd, and it was pointed out on, I think, the Free Uber Facebook page earlier today, one of the city councilors there in Portsmouth said during the meeting on Monday, you know, I'm confused about something uh, most of the people on this council are saying that the background check that Uber does is inferior to the one that we do or that uh, the police do. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, we're saying that we don't know what the background check that Uber performs, what's actually involved. So how would you know You it's can't inferior? have it both ways. Either ours is better or we don't know what's in the one that Uber does can't be both it can't be both uh, the quote by the way that you're talking about is on the front page over at freekeen.com right now christopher david from free uber posted his rundown of monday night's meeting they are complete with video by the way from uh, from that meeting so you can get more details there but what i thought would be interesting to share here uh, about all of this is that uh, well first of all the the city council did vote to table the proposed changes so the the proposal that was on the table was or that that had come up for discussion was that Uber was requesting that the city reduce their regulations on them to uh, re- re- to looking at people for 15 years of background check to to seven years meaning looking for felonies for instance okay from 15 years to seven years and because even like an FBI background check isn't going back more than like 10 on correct. those things. And that's what they basically, they didn't shoot it down completely, but they tabled it. And this sit particular city council will, many of them will be gone at the end of this year. So this was their last meeting. Right. Last so, session of right. this council. So there's going to be a new one starting next year, which will have some younger members on it. Maybe that'll be helpful for uh, free Uber, but we'll see. Uh, time will tell there. The, the guy that seems to be the voice of reason apparently is not coming back. Oh, boy. So we'll keep you in the loop on what uh, further developments. But basically, right now, it's still illegal in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, to drive for Uber without jumping through all manner of arbitrary hoops. Uber is not interested in uh, having their drivers jump through those hoops, and so they're continuing to fight. Uh, But here's what the city's newspaper of record had to say about it in a, of course, unsigned editorial, which presumably means that all of the editors believe the same thing that is being posted. Yes. Uh, This is sort of the way newspapers do things. They never sign their editorials, usually. Uh, Here's what they had to say about the the whole situation. And this was actually written before the vote was taken. Uh, This is them arguing that the city council should continue to crack down and regulate Uber. 
The city of Portsmouth's seemingly endless bending to meet the requests of Uber should end this coming Monday night when the city council should reject the company's request to amend the transportation services ordinance passed earlier this year. How exactly is it bending to Uber if they haven't done anything Uber has wanted them to do? Because, well, you're considering this and it Even was talking asked, about it. You're, you're talking about it. And, well, I, I'm sorry, but I thought, and this is what, you know, they always say, if you don't like things. Try to change them. Try to change them. Work in the system. Call your elected representatives and ask them to change things. But what they're doing in Portsmouth is saying, we adopted this. What, what, why are why are we looking to change this? We we just adopted rules. Yeah, they hate it We've when you got change. Rules. They hate it when you try to change things. And we're not surprised by this, Daryl. I mean, this is maybe this is new for some of the folks in Portsmouth, but out here we've been working within this or trying to work within the system to change, like the school board with these warrant articles you discussed earlier in the show tonight. And when we go in there, we're literally yelled at, shouted down. You're wasting down, our time. Well, names. You're the a hole that's motioning to amend this thing. Right. You're wasting our time. That's what we were literally told in one of these political meetings where we were trying to work within the system. But years ago, when we were doing more, when activists in Keene were doing more civil disobedience and street theater and things like that, that's when we were told, you guys are going about this the wrong way. You need to work within the system to try to change things. So we tried to work within the system to try to change things, and then we get yelled at for wasting people's time. So really what they they want is you to do nothing. If you love the ideas of liberty, they want you to stay home and keep quiet and don't bother them as they try to rule your lives. That's what they want. Sit down, show up, go to the poll. Just, Just go to the polls on election day. They'd prefer you not do that either. They, they would prefer you not to do that, yeah. but that's the one acceptable thing. Just, just vote. You can cast your ballot. Your voice can be heard on Election Day. No, I'm sorry. My voice is not heard Mm-mm. on Election Day. Now, I guarantee you that they're seeing how I vote because I'm filling in an all write in ballot. So they've got to pull that thing off to the and side read the names, and yeah. read it and write stuff down. But my voice is not being heard Certainly by, by anybody important. other than the election official and that's no having difference. to write down none of the above. Yeah. None of the above. And they hate it. Yeah. And none of them care anyway. I mean, they're not going to, that's not going to change anything anyone's mind or you know so they're not even really hearing anything of of importance in that uh, circumstance our toll-free number is 855 450 free so yeah they don't like it when you work within the system and this newspaper editorial is livid about these activists from free uber and we'll tell you more it's free talk live you can control your health care with Liberty HealthShare. Liberty HealthShare is like-minded people coming together to share medical costs, which saves money. You don't even have to pay for procedures that violate your conscience. Because we all share the same values. Join the movement of people who share in medical costs and change the way you pay for your health care forever. Go to libertyhealthshare.org to find out more. Liberty HealthShare. Together, we're changing health care for good. libertyhealthshare.org. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust, who will never betray you, or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. This is a healthcare alert from the Pain Relief Hotline. If you, a family member, or a loved one suffers from knee, back, shoulder, or ankle pain and have Medicare as your primary insurance, we've got great news. You don't have to suffer any longer. You can immediately qualify for a pain relieving brace at little or no cost to you by calling our 24 7 pain relief hotline at 866 389 0620. Delivery is free and all paperwork is handled for you. If you are on Medicare and have knee, back, shoulder, or ankle pain, don't wait you can qualify to immediately receive a pain-relieving brace at little or no cost by calling our 24-7 pain hotline now at 866-389-0620. Our representatives are standing by 24-7 to take your call and rush you your pain-relieving brace at little or no cost to you. Shipping is free and all paperwork is handled for you. Just call 866-389-0620. That's 866-389-0620. Again, 866-389-0620. 
Hi, I'm Derek J. I don't want a politician to represent me. To me, government is the idea that one group of people can coerce everyone to comply with an edict or face increasing punishments up to and including death. Despite perhaps the most noble of intentions, the best government services are a far cry from what could be provided for by voluntary interactions. Besides, the people who call themselves the government wage wars and put peaceful people in jail for crimes involving no victims. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at LRN.FM? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at LRN.FM. That's LRN.FM. There comes a time when you need custom embroidered or screen printed apparel for your business, organization, or a special event. Corporate Casuals has been helping people create great looking logo apparel for over 25 years. They can produce a single piece or thousands using name brand apparel like Nike, Patagonia, Adidas, and Hanes. Create your logo in their online embroidery design studio or upload your existing logo and they'll turn it into embroidery. Go to corporatecasuals.com FTL and include FTL in the order notes and save 5% on your order. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. Ian in the studio with you. And Daryl. And you can join us online at freetalklive.com. Looking for a last-minute gift for the holidays. It's probably too late to get it shipped in time for Christmas, but Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree makes a great stocking stuffer or even post-Christmas gift for somebody that uh, that you love, that you want to, if they're already in, in love with the ideas of liberty, they'll love this movie, most likely. If they are somebody who's not necessarily in line with the ideas of liberty, I consider this to be an interesting propaganda piece to show to folks. It would be interesting to show Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree to people who don't know what liberty is and get their reactions. Some people will react, I think, pretty negatively to it because, well, some of the things that happen are outrageous uh, in the movie where our friend and former co-host Derek J. Freeman is arrested five times in a one-year time frame, all on video, and it makes for a really entertaining 90-minute long feature-length documentary film, which you can actually watch for free over at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. But that doesn't have the commentary tracks and bonus features. It sure doesn't. And speaking of bonuses, there's nearly eight hours of bonus footage, at least seven solid hours of bonus footage on the DVD. You actually have to put the DVD in your computer to see that. It won't show up in the menu system. Ooh, sneaky, sneaky. You have to do it that way. It's a double layer, it's a dual layer DVD, so it's twice the uh, density of a standard DVD, but there's just so much footage. If you put it on like standard DVD quality, it takes up more space and you can't fit as much on there. But if you just put it on as like MP4 files that you can load with your favorite player on your computer, then it takes up a lot less space, but still looks great. In fact, you can put uh, higher quality video on that way, too. So it's a pretty cool thing. And the commentary tracks, you can't get those anywhere else. It's the director's cut of the film. Go and grab it over at order.victimlesscrimespree.com. That'll take you right to the Amazon page where you can get it for less than eight bucks. And it qualifies for Amazon Prime, qualifies for free super saver shipping. And it's an awesome movie. So, you know, by the way, if you've seen the movie and you loved it, uh, please leave a review over at the page for Amazon. Again, you can go there to order.victimlesscrimespree.com as we go to Socrates. He's on the line via Skype in Nashua. Hello, Socrates. Hey, Ian. Hey, Daryl. Hey um, I was just following up. I was having a conversation on the air last week with Mark in regards to... You know, the contradiction within, I think, the liberty movement, 
to how far does the non-aggression principle extend, right? right? And um, I, I kind of got into the essence of can, uh, do you own do you own animals? Do you own the right to be able to uh, to kill, kill animals on a whim just because you are considered human? And we got to the point where I was I was kind of was wondering how you feel about this, Ian. Where people Mark kind of feels that you had the right to kill your own pet. Uh, you're asking, are you asking me if you have a right to kill your pet? So, yes. Uh, you, you were not on the show yep. last Thursday when this conversation happened. Mark was talking about his cat, Mushu Pork, that that cat Poops was... everywhere. He did when he was still alive, but yep. that cat was, you know, really sick and a lot of pain. So Mark made the decision to put the cat down. That's right. Yep. You've got a dog. And mm -hmm. you love that dog a lot. Of course. Who Great doesn't? dog. If there was something terminally wrong with Jazzy, would you, as the caretaker slash owner of Jazzy, be able to make the decision to end Jazzy's life? Absolutely. I've, uh, I've thought about it multiple times. I don't want Jazzy to be in pain. I don't want her to, to have a difficult life. She's in, she's in good health right now. She's 12 years old and is able to go up and down stairs fairly well. She's obviously old, though, and she takes her time doing it. All right. um, but, uh, but, yeah, I mean, I know that at can some I, point— So can uh, I ask a follow-up I, I, I know that at some point, if she doesn't—you know, if I don't just wake up one morning and she's dead, uh, that I'll likely have to decide to to put her down. So, yeah, of course. So what, what makes the difference between—you you just described how I feel about— my family, my friends. I don't want to see them in pain. I don't want to see them at like you know. I don't want to have, make them bad, bad. I want to make sure they have a good life. Mm -hmm. But in the end, they make their own decision. And so, in essence, like they, you, it would. It's illegal for them to kill themselves, right? And you can't not help everywhere. Them commit suicide, right? No, that's true. But you can't. And you, you, you wouldn't. Would you be able to to be consistent? Help them commit suicide if you feel that they're in pain. Uh, well, I mean, you can't legally do something like that. Uh, are you asking no, if know, you should be able you just to? Said, no, no, you, for, no, I'm a, asking you. From a just moral, just philosophical you. standpoint, are you asking if you should be able to help someone who you love kill themselves? Well, you just said, that you just described that you, you really have this moral connection to the well-being of this animal. Yeah. And because of that, you would put them down. So I sure. ask you, why doesn't that extend to your family and your friends? Do you I not care about wouldn't. them in the same fact? Right, so you would put them down. You would well, decide to kill them. That's some, no, no, no. If that's something they wanted to do, so how do you know that that's assist. what the animal wants? Well, it doesn't matter uh, what the animal wants. It can't communicate what it wants. So, so why do you why do you assume that it wants to die? I didn't assume that it wanted to die. I well, assumed I, that I, it, I, well, in the it, hypothetical scenario of the dog is unable to walk up and down stairs. Yeah, if it's you know if it's in a lot of pain and its life is very very difficult, then uh, yeah, I see that that is a good reason to end its life. That doesn't mean that I'm assuming it wants to die. I don't know what it wants. It can't communicate those ideas to me. But a human being can communicate and they can have a will and they can have instructions and they can say, hey, I'm not having fun over here anymore. Uh, I'd like to go ahead and end my life. And if the state were to allow that to happen, I think people should be able to end their lives with either the help of a doctor or a friend. And this also, the being unable to communicate, sort of goes into the realm of what happens if somebody's in a coma yep. and they have not written down instructions of what to do okay. when they're Can in I a coma. Yeah, that's if a huge you may, problem. I, could, I may interject. So if, the, if, the, if you see the animal when you begin to start putting them down by injecting a needle to them and they start withering in pain... Right. This is the analogy of the mark when he starts to see and he holds a chicken upside down. Right. And he basically right. But you see fear in the eyes of the animal of what you're about to do. So why would you at that point still assume that you're acting in the animal's best interest? Um, I don't know if I'm assu I'm assuming anything about that. All I know well, is I'm, s I'm saying that there's no animal. The animal has a basic instinct to survive. Sure. That, right. So and in essence, when you're acting against their basic instinct to survive, you are acting against their basic instincts, and in essence, I'm constantly you're, you're, you're acting saying against that your your instincts. humanity, your humanity, and your ownership of that animal gives you the right to act in their best interest. And I, so I ask you, because if if a person that was just simply had Down syndrome to the point that they were so physically disabled or mentally disabled rather that they could not communicate, but were physically alive. Right. Mm -hmm. And they can't communicate, but they can, you know, they can roam around. They can barely walk. 
Maybe they need a wheelchair. But if they're in the same circumstance, would you say, well, they look like they're in a lot of pain. I think that we should do what's best for them and terminate their life. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that. What I might do is say it's not my obligation to do anything in this particular circumstance. And that's what I would agree with. Uh-huh. Why? That's what I would extend to the animal. Uh, and then I so, so I you would just so you, you would just let the animals. The so what you're saying is uh, you're you saying you, you, saying you, you, you're, you would just allow the animal to live? to puke uh, puke up black bile and to obviously be having a difficult time. You just sit there and so watch. So would it. you as a as a as a family member that was going through that, I would be a caretaker for them and make sure that they were comfortable. In the same mm-hmm. way, because. Of for that animal, I would ensure their comfort level is to the maximum possibility. But at the same time, right, I'm not because I'm going to say that I don't feel like I have the right to choose whether he wants to fight through this or not. So in my thing, it's like you do not act any differently simply because you you think that, well, the animal might want to die. So I guess I should make that decision for him. Right. I would say that you do you wouldn't act any differently as if he was healthy. You would behave in the same manner as you always have the animal. And that was my argument, which I think you, you well, just I wouldn't support. be behaving in the same manner as I always do, because you just said normal, do nothing because that's not what I'm advocating. No, um, I, uh, you, you're putting words in my mouth. No, uh, I'm, not, I'm not meaning to. Go ahead. Uh, OK, so uh, normally I'm not cleaning up black. But when one of my dogs died uh, when I was a kid, it was p- coughing up black bile. Uh, before uh, before we had to put it down. I mean, it was obviously not having a good time. And so normally my duties with Jazzy are to, you know, feed her, love her, and take her outside so she can evacuate and, you know, walk her and, you know, take care of her in those ways. If she's not well able to walk anymore, if she's constantly in pain, if she's puking up black bile, then I become a maid and I'm now cleaning up after every single mess that she makes on a daily basis. That's not convenient for me because I have a life to live, and it's also not convenient for her because, obviously, it's a painful uh, process to go through that. So I don't want to jump to any conclusions. I don't know what the animal is thinking, but I know that my life has then been impacted significantly by someone who I love who is obviously having a very, very difficult time, and it is time to end that. If, if she's at the end of her life, basically, and is barely hanging on to it, uh, or you know, having a super difficult time, to me, it's compassionate to end that animal's life. If you disagree with that, you're certainly free to you know, approach your animals from whatever way you want to. If you want to let your animal sit there and spit up black bile and pee and urinate all over the house and just be a little mis- uh, made to your animal and feel like you're doing something for them by letting them live another day, that's certainly your choice, Socrates, and thanks I mean- for the call tonight. We'll uh, see you tomorrow between now. Are you getting squeezed by the economic downturn? Hey, you were doing fine. Then all of a sudden you're having a tough time paying your family's credit card bills. Maybe you were downsized or even lost a job, but you still owe 10 grand or more in credit card bills. And you just can't afford the minimum payments anymore. We're here to help. We are the Genesis Debt Partners. We know the secrets to negotiate better terms with your creditors. Make a free... 10-minute call right now and learn how we can help you get out of debt. 800-981-7590. If you owe 10 grand or more in credit card debt and you want to learn how you can pay less and get out of debt faster, call right now. 800-981-7590. 800-981-7590. Get out of debt now. 800-981-7590. Cryptocurrency and peer-to-peer tech developments happen fast. Stay in the loop with The Daily Decrypt, a new video channel and podcast that will keep you on top of the latest innovations in crypto finance, security, networking, transportation, and gadgetry like drones and 3D printers. Subscribe to The Daily Decrypt on YouTube and SoundCloud and be an early adopter of the future. The Daily Decrypt. LRN.FM is proud to announce our official listening apps for Android and iOS devices. Now you can easily tune into our streams anywhere, anytime on your smartphone or tablet. Just visit apps.lrn.fm or search for LRN.FM in the Android or Apple app stores. Please download, rate it five stars, then share the link on social media, and let your friends and family know how you're listening to LRN.FM. Download it now, free at apps.lrn.fm. That's apps.lrn.fm.
This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at lrn.fm. Understanding your credit score is the first step towards managing and improving it. This is Charlie Sundstrom with your Van Dyke Mortgage Minute. The most influential component of your credit score is your payment history. Almost equally as important is the amount you owe on credit accounts. Also impacting your score, but to a lesser degree, are the length of time you've utilized your credit, the number of new accounts, credit inquiries, and your various types of credit accounts. To help achieve or maintain a healthy credit score, have a system set up to assure your bills are always paid on time. Don't max out your cards. It's better to have a high credit limit with a low balance. Never close old accounts. The age of these can actually help your credit score. But don't be afraid to use your credit. You need several accounts in order to have a credit score. Just keep the corresponding payments within your means. For your mortgage pre-approval and refi needs, start by visiting VanDykeMortgage.com. Corporate NMLS 3035. Van Dyke Mortgage is an equal housing lender. Charlie Sundstrom, NMLS 134251. The three most important things you can do for LRN.FM are, one, let your friends know you're listening to LRN.FM on your social networking profile. Two, Buy the things you buy online through shop.lrn.fm. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program at amp.lrn.fm. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same great prices, and LRN gets a cut. Please do your online shopping at shop.lrn.fm. You can control your health care with Liberty HealthShare. Liberty HealthShare is like-minded people coming together to share medical costs, which saves money. You don't even have to pay for procedures that violate your conscience. Because we all share the same values. Join the movement of people who share in medical costs and change the way you pay for your health care forever. Go to libertyhealthshare.org to find out more. Liberty HealthShare. Together, we're changing health care for good. libertyhealthshare.org. You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. The Liberty Radio Network presents the latest episode of School Sucks. Listen to more at SchoolSucksProject.com. Welcome to the School Sucks Project, a podcast, YouTube channel, and online community dedicated to personal growth and intellectual self-defense. We promote learning alternatives, home education, critical thinking, peaceful parenting, organization and productivity, and better communication strategies. Please remember to visit SchoolSucksProject.com to get comprehensive show notes, relevant links, or to learn five zesty biohacks you can do using the Arby's dollar menu. Follow us on Twitter at SchoolSucksShow. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, username SchoolSucksPodcast, and get involved in our Facebook group. All right, so we're just going to start, All right. and this is just going to be super relaxed, and we're just going to have a great time. When, I, when all, I think about you, the word re- relaxed comes up. Why? Because you're so chill. Do I sound sleepy? No, you, you, have a, you have a very relaxed demeanor when you speak publicly. You're the same exact way when you speak publicly as when you speak privately to people. You're just very relaxed, very 